And we are live. Hello. Citations alive. I'm Titus. You're Titus. I'm alive. By by mere miracle, this morning I was not very alive. That's uh, <laughs> that's how melatonin t likes to likes to make us work. Yeah, it had been a while since I had, was awake at seven a.m. But yeah, hi, hello. I see Strybeck. Hi, Strybeck. There's a blip. Right. I don't have a blippy weasel here, but wait, do I have a blippy weasel? I don't use most of my expressions anymore. I just use them for like reaction videos and boy, Nintendo has not given us directs. So there's not much blip. I have an angry blip, such as a eh, like eh. I love how your heart rate is spiking now that you're going through all the emotions. I'm going emotions. through emotions. <laughs> oh uh, no, emoting. But hi, yeah. Hello. Uh ooh, this is a this is a weird way of doing a Friday stream. I usually just do random one off games that I don't want to do cuz cuz I need to fill the Fridays for something. But this mm -hmm. time it's it's a, it's a it's a big o. It's a big game yeah. kind of maybe. I mean, uh, for what it's worth, I know you don't, this might not be your favorite thing to do, but could always just do reruns or potentially replays if you, on Fridays if you just really don't want to play any, any of the other new things. I was thinking of something like that. Okay. Okay. Um, actually, I'm checking something. Say more stuff. Uh, more stuff. Oh boy, you are very loud, maybe to the audience. So I'm gonna check that. Um, say hold more on, stuff. Allow... That's that's good. Perfect. That works. Alrighty. Um, Roscoe, hi. Roscoe says evening. Ticklish weasel. Sa Salutations. Uh, hello. Yes. Don't touch my paws. He, I know his intent. He wants to touch. He wants to take my boots off. And he wants to touch my paws, and I say it. I'm ticklish. Don't do that. Don't. Um, and Xander, hi, hello, you were literally at my place today, says yo, I got home safely. Well, I'm glad, and you were really Hooray. fast. You were really fast. Um, so yeah, Phantom Hourglass, he here's a funny thing, I have this game physically, like, on a DS cartridge, and I was waiting, I said, one day I will stream it, 
And then my, sadly, my 3DS with video capture, my $660 3DS with video capture broke. And I was never able to do that. No. But I still wanted to play this game. And I said, okay, what's the next best option for streaming this? On the Wii U? It, it's cheap. It's like six bucks. So I said, okay, whatever. Um, it, my yeah. personal experience with this game is, this is my first ever Zelda game, and I got it around, I think it was only a year after it had been out. I played it on the original DS, and I still have my cartridge, though sadly, uh, I was very dumb as a kid and never knew how to properly maintain hardware. Oof. So it's all, I don't know, it's not rusty, but very unkempt and the plastic's very worn so it doesn't work all the time anymore i know that yeah i've i've uh yeah the the terminals just do kind of corrode a little and... uh, yeah sad part about technology is that it's gonna wear down eventually it's just a matter of how long you can put that off that's what we don't, that's exactly the reason is like that's that's the main I guess the main upside of digital media, maybe, <laughs> it's like I mean, it just... can last a little bit longer. Or you can have what happened with Final Fantasy IX on the PSN, where they copied it from a broken disc, so part of a cutscene skips. Oh. So we now have an imperfect preservation. This stuff just makes me sad. <laughs> I don't like this. And then I think about the Wii, the Wii Shop channel, and I just cry. And I think about the uh, DSiWare like channel, and I just uh, I cry more. I, as soon as I saw that the Wii Shop was going off, Wii U Shop was going offline, I was like, oh damn it, so much I still wanted to buy. I am getting ready. This time I am ready. I was not ready for the first two. This time I'm ready. I'm looking at the 3DS shop very carefully and saving up money because one day I'm just going to do an, an essentially apocalypse buy and just buy like 30 games. It's going to hurt, but it's the only way. Anyways, ah, this game exists. Wow. Let's see. I need to switch screens to stick it in and... Launch it. Get that weasel off the screen. Oop. 2007. Jeez, this was a while ago. <laughs> so, the first thing we're going to have to decide is... Yeah, okay. I was testing some things. We're going to have to decide what layout do we want to display this on the screen. Actually, let's go to the logo so I can so we can have a better a better um a better view of this. Or maybe this very scenic um intro cutscene. Well, as scenic as early DS graphics can be. It's cute. Oh no, I'm not complaining. Perfect. It's just I'm not complaining. It's just compared to spirit tracks, like this is very rudimentary. I may play Spirit Tracks as well later. It's also on the on the eShop. That so. is the that's the second Zelda game I played. So yay! <laughs> so let's see. Starbucks says, if I recall correctly, pretty much everything happens on the lower screen. Yeah. So I was thinking this is the first option I had. It makes this it's may it makes the top screen small, but the lo, lo, but the lower screen big, which is pretty much where everything happens. There's, let's see, there's this view that actually makes the screens bigger on my, both of them bigger on my screen, but for you, they are like probably very small because they're in the it's middle. So, it's so annoying to stream this stuff because this is a thing where it's like, this works perfectly for playing, but not streaming. Oh yeah. Um, so you're going to have to find some kind of balance. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is the screens on the side. So, uh, who wants neck pain? <laughs> okay, sweet. Everyone, lay in bed while you watch this stream. We're gonna watch on our side. I, I would. 
Yeah, I, I could probably make this work if I could tilt my... No, but then I would have to, like, turn the, the stream... Well, like, the, the, the feet on its side. That's stupid. No. No thing. Why can't I have this, but with the screens on, like... But the screens, like, rotated? I wish I mean, you then you'd have the previous one. Eh. Um, this one... Okay, this is useless. The the upper screen is on the on the on the stream, but you will not see the touch the touch the screen. That's this is probably the worst <laughs> the worst way right. of playing this. All right, everyone, you get to look at the map, and that's it. <laughs> um, now this one I find like it's cute, but it does waste a lot of screen uh screen in real space. Like I don't need the giant DS that burning. That is a. That is adorable. I'll give him that, but that is not a good way to play. That is not functional. It's cute. Um, maybe if you want to shoot a trailer or something, but not. Also, why did they choose the freaking uh, original DS of all things? Huh. I mean, this was released when that was the most current model, I believe. So. Oof. And Phantom there's... Hourglass. Did... Oh, sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. I was gonna say this one is big, big top screen, small touch screen. This is also very silly. <laughs> so I think yeah. we have our our answer. You were saying? I was saying this game was released in two thousand seven, most mm -hmm. anywhere. Although from checking different websites, it appears that it had a very choppy release window for various countries. Did it? It yeah. Oh. The Australian version got released before the rest of Europe, despite them all being the PAL region, and then Korea got its own version much later than the rest of everyone else. Well, Korea used to get country. like not games for for the longest time. Also, let me restart my capture card because there's no audio at all. I noticed. Uh -oh. I noticed, and I will make it happen. Um, Hood, hi, hello. Hood says, saw the tweet, went from, hey, need Phantom Hourglass to, wait, how? And then, to then, oh no. Hood says, also no sound, and I just fixed that. There you go. Hood says, there we go, yeah. Hi, Uwu. Oh, hello. Yes. Yeah, so I think the best bet is to show the bottom screen as the biggest, the, the touch screen part as the biggest one. Tell you what, next week, uh, I'll try to zoom this in a little bit more. Oh, so now this that would be, yeah, that'll be, that'll be a cool touch. Also, you have a heart rate of negative ten. It happens when I get too excited. There, now I'm over... now I'm normally excited. <laughs> you overflowed it. I I overflow my my life is that. Do you know that I have a that I have a a weird glitch with my charisma? Oh, with my charisma meter. It kind of it it does the thing you know of two hundred and fifty five to zero, back and forth. Oh no! You only have one bite of charisma. It's it's stupid. It's stupid. It's so it just causes people to either love me unconditionally or irrationally hate me. Uh, uh, it just yeah, happens. At least this, at least this isn't Skyward Skyward Sword on the Wii, the original bamboo cutting mini game. Because as soon as you got to 64, you hit the cap, and any further, you overflowed. Oh no. Yep. Granted, it's very hard to get to 64, but uh, it, it's very dumb if you, that they reserved not even, like, I think it was only, like, half a bite for one. Also, there's two ways of, of also displaying this. You can either display it with nice, crisp pixels, or we can smear Vaseline on the screen. <laughs> Oh, hooray, everyone. We get 2007 game capture footage. Oh, that's... Yeah. Gosh. No, this is good. Uh, Hood yeah, says, let's, let's this go. one... Uh, I'm curious how you'll react knowing your Zelda taste. Won't influence your opinion in any way. I think... Okay. Well... People should know that my favorite Zelda games, as I mentioned during my Skyward Sword stream, are the original 2D ones, uh, Link's Awakening and the Oracle series. So, I love me some top-down Zelda. Also, I grew up with the DS, so touchscreen is my life. I, f I really, really wish I could have played the Oracle games. They are amazing. They are still, they are still there on the 3DS eShop. <gasps> they are? They are super cheap, too. Yes! 
they are yeah i definitely recommend them do get them um who says it is a handheld zelda for sure and then who says link's awakening in a hardy mode it is it is a very nice game uh, i do have my reservations about over the the remake i don't think it's a 60 dollar game <laughs> i mean it's pretty but it's functionally the same as the original Salutations, Balthazar. Zar? Zar! Hello! Zar says, so this is the famed Titus card number two. Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh yeah, you are the, the second card in the tarot set. Uh, what card huh. was that? Um, I, was, I was number two, apparently. I will bring it up, because that means... Let's see, card number two. Yes! Here it is. You're the high the high priestess, yeah. Actually that would be that's a nice way of filling up this empty space on the screen. Oh sweet, let's just get you and me in there then. Oh sweet, yeah. Hold on. I I am artfully naked. But come on, this is always I this is always in the start of the stream. It's fine. Yes, both cards. Let's let's make them so they both fit. I wish I always every time I, I co-hosted with people I could do this. <laughs> oh I know, I'm gonna put myself here and then you're gonna go up here. That works. I like them overlapping because it makes them look more like cards. Nice. Um could says, and if the rumors are true, maybe we'll see them on Switch Online? Question mark. I really hope they do bring Game Boy games to Switch Online. <laughs> Very hard, but I, I really don't see. Weirdly enough, I don't see Game Boy games in a subscription service. It's I don't know. NES and Super NES games seem easier because they're kind of throwaway games, like just games that you play for five minutes, they're fun, and you're over. I mean that and also probably going to be easier to create the emulator to sh shell around them instead of just having to rebuild the D stuff for the DS. If they do do that, I will. Pr I promise if they, uh, this is my promise right now, if they do uh, Game Boy or Game Boy Advance on, um, on Nintendo Switch Online, I will make entire streams around them. Because Again, I don't care for the NES or Super NES, but the Game Boy is my life. Oh, I started with the Game Boy myself, too. Although, I guess technically Game Boy Advance, so... That's that's absolutely fine. Portable Boys. Um, Hood says, price conversations are always iffies. So I definitely enjoy the remake. Again, it's fine if anybody wants to play $60 for the Link's Awaiting remake. I would probably either just borrow it from somebody, though, because... Ah. <laughs> Honestly, I think the best way I can put it is it's a good $60 game if you never played the original. Yes. If you did play the original, eh, wait for a drop. Yes. Especially if you played it recently. I played Link's Awakening in 2015, I think. And I did, that's recent for me, believe me. I need a game to... I need to have not played something for 10 years before I'm like, oh yeah, it's time to revisit this. Yeah, I played the DX version on 3D uh, on the well, I guess it was DSI store, so I'm good. Um, who says holy shit? Oh, this oh, hello. Salutations, Distrar. Um, who also redeemed the dum dum? Wow, we haven't even started. I think it's because I I, I don't want to I don't want to be mean to my any other of my co-hosts. But my gosh, do I love the chemistry I have with you. <laughs> well, I am high, pri high priestess, and you are a parent, and you are from the guard of my world. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, thanks for the dum dum. I like watermelon. Who says any cards readers in chat? Uh, we, are we gonna get a tarot reading? And who says I, oof GBA on Switch Online would be killer app? Yeah, it would. Would love it. I know they. Yes. I know vaguely about the tarot. It's just I, just it was more casual interest rather than dedicated. I I follow it so. Mm. Oh. 
high priestess might be love in relationships. I mean, isn't that lovers? <laughs> a different kind of love. Yeah. Um, trust your feelings. New beginnings. All that stuff. It's all incredibly subjective, as tarot usually is. We are still in the menu screen. What's up with this? Hold on. Hood says, reasonable, yeah, you can have it later. And whatever, whoa. Titus has the sexiest voice. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Hood says, do I? Oh, don't you be crushing on... Why are you crushing on my boyfriend? No. Uh, well... Time to add another to the roster. Damn it. Okay. Um, Zara says, ooh, the this and the corniness. Um, and who sent four hearts. Okay, can I do this now? I will do this now. Look at my pulse. I'm dying here. 120 heart rate. Who says, no, no, no. You're so cute together. Okay, I'll take that. If it involves me, it's everything. Everything is better. Okay, so, first of all, I want to ask, why the hell does this have Nintendo Wi-Fi connection set up? That's for the multiplayer. Or for ship part trading. Online? Did, did this thing have online? Yes. And by multiplayer, I mean the competitive, because <laughs> that's all there was. Why is this menu still enabled? <laughs> yeah. Eh? Eh. Okay. Two save files. Oh, I'm not gonna call him Rick. I always go with... I am a purist of Zelda, despite not liking the franchise. <laughs> you hold the stylus on your right or left hand? I don't have hands, I have paws, but right. Yes, right paw. Oh, this feels so nostalgic, holding a stylus again. Oh, I miss that. Any, we're gonna get surround sound here. Mm, mic test. Okay. Hello. Yes. This is a mic. I think it works fine. Oh boy, I'm gonna be reading this. Uh, Hood says, "Lol, if they ever remastered slash re uh, port a link between worlds to the Switch with the online Dark Link stuff, oh man, that would be awesome." I haven't played that. I'll probably play it one day. Here we go again. All right, our story begins not long ago. Yes, I know. There was a young girl, savvy to the seas and head of a band of pirates. Her name was Tetra. She was pretty, brash, and brave. Tetra and her handsome pirates set out to explore the vast and unfamiliar seas. One day on a stop at an island, Tetra met a young boy dressed in green. After a series of strange events, the two began traveling together. They found old ruins and light enveloped Tetra. At once, she transformed into a beautiful princess. Her lineage traced back to an ancient ruined kingdom. She was Princess Zelda of the Kingdom of Hyrule. Just then, a huge ominous king appeared. Huh? He carried Princess Zelda away. The evil king sought the sacred power passed down to Hyrulean princesses. Ah. He schemed to take the power and use it himself. The boy chased after him, determined to save the princess. The boy crossed seas and climbed mountains. The journey was per perilous. He slayed evil monsters and used their power to become a true hero. After long and hard adventuring, he defeated the evil king. And beautiful Princess Zelda was rescued at last.
later to set out with the brave pirate crew in search of new lands. Yes, yes, they sail together. Set sail together. A happy pirate ending. So, what did you think of my amazing paper cutouts? Did you guess that Tetra was really Princess Zelda? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I actually played this game. I originally played this game. I tried it a little. Actually, I tried it at Hood's house a little before I ever even heard of Wind Waker. So, <laughs> I actually had the plot of Wind Waker spoiled to me <laughs> by this game. I this was my first Zelda game, so that was so same deal. <laughs> um, wait, wait, wait. Zara says fake. I hoped all boats would be nothing but boop. Um, Hood says if someone has not played Wind Waker, do not watch this. It will spoil it for you. Yes, I'm warning people about a 20-year-old game. 19-year-old, I guess. Then Hood says, oof, yeah, oh no, that's true. Yeah, I played it at your house. I was young little Rick. I was so small and adorable. Yeah, also for reference, there's an, there's another pull-up. Enforcing toll because I'm Titus. Uh, um... Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Titus. <laughs> I, I missed your amazing polls. Oh, this is what this stream, stream needed. Yay. Who says, oh, this was also my first Zelda game. At, li at least the first one I ever beat. I think it's the first one I ever tried. Okay, also, yeah. What? Also, I forgot to ask, but since this is obviously not voiced, did you want to split up the voice acting, or did you want to do all of it? I think it's... I'm gonna have to do it all, all of it, because uh, the lag is too too great. That is fair. Yeah, I would I would probably only do, like, shared voice with somebody who was in the same room. Which I would love, okay. but... Uh, I'm sad. Hold on. Ball, ball is ending. It's amazing. Who threw a fuck ton of points at that? Who? <laughs> 160,000 channel points for 16 votes? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> okay, fine. By the power of money, I am amazing. Well, eggs. <laughs> I forgot I had turned that option on. <laughs> I guess I'm only worth so many points to him. Wow. Anyways. Okay, Link, are you sleeping, Swabby? Um, I'm having lollipop. Link! Link! Why are you so pixelated? Stop messing around down there. You're both supposed to be on the lookout. Ha, huh, some legendary hero you are. Who'd believe you saved me from the evil king? Princess Zelda, we're nearly at that spot in the sea. I told you not to call me Zelda. This is a spoiler. Tetra worked just fine before, you know? But enough about that. How about you? So this is where the ghost ship is said to appear? Stay on the lookout for a creepy looking ship. Are you sure this is a good idea? What about all those ships that haven't gone missing? I say the ghost ship is behind all of it. That's right, Nico. Every ship disappears. And it's all because of that scary ghost ship. G ghosts Hey, Tetra. They say th these seas are protected, yeah? Something about a spirit called the Ocean King. Wouldn't a spirit like that protect the ships? Unless there really is an evil ghost ship. Don't be ridiculous. There's no such thing as a ghost ship. I bet it's just some pirates up to no good. I'll expose them as a bunch of frauds. Which Link's such a sleepy bitch. And remind them that there are rules to being pirates. I thought there really is an Ocean King anyway. Aren't you like... The one that knows? Hey, look! The air feels chilly. Eerie even. I say we take a detour around this creepy place. Quit being so scared. We're here to see the world, not take detours. Ship ahoy! Tetra, I can see a ship. Yeah, a ship up ahead.
Oh. So, remember that one ghost ship part of Wind Waker? Yes. Now, how about we make it a central plot point? Is it the same ship? It looks... I'm just saying that because they look similar. I'm, I'm not going to spoil anything else. Oh, boy. Well, I vaguely also remember it. It was so long also ago. Sci also salutations, Jeff. Oh, yeah, hold on. I'll read. Uh... Let me just check this quickly. Ah, uh, bup, 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 bup. Hood says, money controls the economy and the political system. Wah ha ha ha. Hood says, I don't have any points anymore. Ah. You spent them all? Uh. And you sent a weird rig with sunglasses, but it they just fit weird. Um, sorry, Beck says, you know, I never got why Zelda went by Tetra in the first place. Like, what was the point of hiding her identity? It wasn't about, I... I think she I didn't think know she was Zelda. Yeah, that and and if she did, it's more like she didn't care. She was the she was the pirate leader Tetra. She didn't really care for being Zelda much. And salutations, Rukido. Yeah, I think this is one of the best Zeldas. She has more personality. And Chip, yeah, Chip says hello to Ricky and Titus. Hello. And Rugido, hi, Rugido says hello. Strapic says, or maybe Tetra is her real name, which raises the question of why she's considered Zelda when that isn't her actual name. But she is a Zelda, so... Yep. Eh. If we're following from the lore that Skyward Sword added, this is still the same spirit. It's just, well, different person. Uh, okay, now now I'm just gonna hate all Zelda, like, like all, all, um, yeah, all Zelda games because, like, oh, it's, it's just a sequel of that game. Everything is a sequel. Uh, and let's... I mean, let's. let's I think throw you'll. The I think you'll like through the window. Eh, I think you'll like what this one adds. Well enough, it's divorced enough from Wind Waker that it doesn't kind of stranglehold you in with it. Oh, I didn't mention this before, but considering Star Fox Command is my favorite Star Fox game, and that one was completely stylus controlled, I have a bias for certain control schemes. Yeah, I don't know why everyone hates the stylus controls. Like, I get it. If They're you grew not up with them, I think they are great. Like, you, yep. you, you may like them a lot, but if you didn't, they might be weird. I, I guess that I understand that maybe the stylus controls aren't the best for anyone with any kind of like motion, dis with oh, motion no, yeah. impairment in their hands. But yeah, I'm a big, I'm a big uh, advocate for uh, accessibility in games. So I can understand, yeah. but mm -hmm. I, I'd it's, say it's buttons are just as complicated, if not worse. It's a hard, it's a hard one for me because I I love the accessibility and I want pe more people to enjoy the games. But at the same time, it's just if you want to create something new and you're gonna try in a different control scheme, like well, what? How far can you go? I think well, the the key is options. That would be that would be nice. I think if every game studio had an accessibility department that just was in charge of adapting everything to at least the most common issues with with things, mostly color blindness, control schemes, and such, that would be enough. Then other things like controller peripherals can do the rest of the job. Um, Hood says forty-seven k left. I'll have to save up. For the co-host shenanigans. I thought you had a co-host pass already. Um, Tetra says... No, Hood says... Tetra says... Hood says Tetra is the best Zelda, yeah. And Strybeck says Tetra she's called. a Zelda equivalent. I'll give you that. Tetra called herself the best Zelda. Of course. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's in character. <laughs> Hood says Although British I... Cap used to be the first one on the timeline. Everything used to be in peace. Then the Skyward Sword Nation attack. Oh, no. I mean, if I will... Chime in. I know I'm jumping the gun massively here, but uh -huh. if you if you say that this is a good Zelda, just wait till you get to Spirit Track Zelda. I know somebody who has very strong opinions about Spirit Tracks. <laughs> I, I don't I don't remember if good or bad. <laughs> well, will you can make your own opinions when we get to that one. So. Oh, absolutely. I, I I'm actually kind of hyped for that one because trains. I know several other people who love the train. Well, I, it's not like I'm not a train. I'm first of all, I want to I want to make this clear. I am not a real fan. 
My gosh, train people are weird. I just like that little train. It's really cute. Um, bop, 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 bop. Who says accessibility? Yep, yep. Travis says, actually, I remember people arguing over whether Minish Cap was set before or after Ocarina of Time. Who says, I always thought Minish Cap was the first one because of Link's Cap. In the, in a hmm, Rick. And Hood says, yes. Travis says, the logic was that Ocarina of Time was marketed as the first game in timeline, therefore nothing can possibly be said before it. Hood says, I fully support Titus in that we'll get there. <laughs> and Strybex says, Spirit yeah. Tracks is my favorite Zelda game. And Chip says, Zelda from Spirit Tracks is my second favorite. Hyrule Warriors Zelda is my first. I love how we are already having fun and, and the guy having <laughs> just cutting cutting in the game we just we started. haven't even <laughs> we haven't even finished the prologue it's a ghost ship we've been here forever <laughs> these waters really are cursed <laughs> we spent five minutes trying to say two say one sentence and you call yourself a pirate it's just a ship and a stream if this shit happens but it does look <laughs> like it could be the ghost ship there might even be a lot of treasure on board that's it i'm gonna get to the bottom of this at last I'm not, by the way, I'm not telling people not to speak, but I get, I'll get to your stuff. Wow, that's a big screen. Yep. And now a screen. Silence. How very Link of you to jump onto a ghost ship. He's the only one who did shit anyway. Well, the other pirates. Oh. Oh boy, Link, there you go again. Falling into the ocean. How very Link's awakening of you. Someone needs the rock's feather. Link. Save me. As usual, I guess. Link. Oh boy, what else is new? Tetra has become plot device. We must save her from this terrible fate. Save me, Link. This can't possibly be Ganon. We got rid of him last time. I mean, we'll find out. Oh my gosh. It's a Navi. We haven't seen one of these in a while. Wait, right. wait have I streamed the game with the Navi? Have you streamed Ocarina of Time? No. Have you streamed Majora's, streamed Majora's Mask? No. Uh, not really then. Uh, it's my first one. <laughs> oh no! Hey, listen. Um, bu -bu um, who says if okay if you include higher warriors, Age of Calamity, then yeah, that Zelda might be the best one. Oh, definitely. Trevex says I like to imagine that it took them forever to actually notice the ghost ship, cause you know it's ghost ship. It's transparent. Who says Twilight Princess Wii version has a, na a Navi lol? A Navi pointer. Na well, yeah, but that's not a character. That's just the pointer. Yeah, I'm talking about this. The one that goes, Oh, phew, you're awake! You weren't moving, so I thought you were done for. But it looks like you're going to be okay. I'm Ciela. Well, kind of. You see, I'm a fairy. I was out flirting around and found you here. What happened? Ciela? Like sky? What? A ghost ship? Your friend was taken away by a ghost ship? So you were following after her. And you got separated for, from your own ship, huh? Is it the ghost ship people have been talking about? They see that those it takes are never seen again. You want to know more about the ghost ship? Grandpa will know all about it. I lost my memory a long time ago. When I woke up on this beach, Grandpa rescued me. He's very sweet, so you've got not you have nothing to worry to worry about. Ah, our house is up there, off the beach. Come on. Oh, gameplay? I Maybe. Mean, <laughs> I mean, in fairness, we were the ones who extended the prologue. Yeah, you know what? This this is not a long like in comparison to other Zelda games. This is not a long one. Oh, can you walk? Yeah. Tap the direction you want to move with your stylus. Your what? Said Link, in game. Don't worry, 
this mysterious force known as the player will figure it out. Oh yeah, all those games that do that. Um, Strybeck says she actually uses some of the same voice clips as Navi. I figured. Hood says, yeah, exactly yellow. Chip says, no, I mean Hyrule Warriors definite, definitive edition one. And Hood says, Titus equals this played through CLN Navi. <laughs> I'm going to fight that. I'm going to fight that one because I'm not chiming in unnecessarily. I am. I'm only doing... <laughs> if anything, I'm cutting you off. So, ah, that makes me the one. <laughs> Hood says, that one's pretty good. Yeah, memory loss, silent hero, damsel some distress. What else do you need for a game? And Zehar says, looks, Link looks ugly as fuck in this game. He's just... It's the, it's the DS. What the, could they do? They took his, his catness to the extreme. What am I doing? What is this? Link, do you have a sword? No, no sword. What happened to your sword? Also, I was warned. It I can't fall into the sea, right? Don't do that. It it fell off in the waters of plot convenience. Oh my goodness. Hero inventory reset for sequel. But game. yep, this is the... Yep, true enough. And this is the same Hero of Winds from Wind Waker. So. Danger, monsters ahead. Okay, I won't. Hello, what's up with you? Yep, that's how it's done. Just tap on people to speak with them. Oh, try tapping on other things like signs and barrels. And cuckoos? Bye. What's in here? These controls are super easy, come on. Who complained about this? I've heard that the ghost ship is on the prowl again, stealing more islanders. So very dangerous. Okay, for a DS, come on, this this is a this is a pretty house. This this looks pretty. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. I've seen prettier on the DS, but at the same time, it's like this is 2007. Early DS. 2007. Like, give them give them the benefit. Yeah, that's, that's what I was that's what what I was about to say. Like, it's like this is still early DS, and that's they did a pretty damn fine job for a system that was very recent. And you know what? I'm starting to like this is starting to go into nostalgic graphics. Yeah, there's I I'd say there's only like two maybe three areas where the graphics kind of falter but really that's it otherwise the game looks pretty damn nice for early ds it's it's nice it's a, it's aesthetic it's pixelated it it's cute you mix the best of the n64 era and other things not that way link let's talk to my grandpa first oh yeah i forgot that the d-pad does things the menu got it helpful this is the first game where you have just active menus. You don't pause when you bring up the menus. Okay, I know, I know, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I know, but thou must, blood. Thou must. Ooh, you have things. Give me. I I like these controls. Whoever doesn't like them is a is a a, a poo poo head. People often complain that they ended up being too casual and easy. Yeah, well, casual and easy equals Rick will like this. I, I, I hate the idea that casual and easy just makes it a bad game. Oh, Grandpa looks good in this. Like, he, like, the, the, he was definitely made for this. Like, the, the polygons work. Ah, hello, traveler. So your name is Link? I am Oceus, and I live on this island. Sila told me all about what happened to you. I also hear your friend was taken by the ghost ship. I understand that you want to find the ghost ship, but you must not. But Grandpa, what are you saying? Link's friend was carried away. Pure evil fills the sails of the ghost ship. It roams the seas in search of victims to capture, and no one has ever escaped from it. It's best if you stay far away from that ghost ship. No, to seek out that sheep is to seek out your doom. That's why we have to do something, Grandpa! I wasn't sure who was talking. Oh, mercy. Weird face. Hmm. You're not going to give up, are you? Me? Young people. Millennials. Zoomers. There is a port to the east of here. 
A sailor by the name of Linebeck should be there. Oh no. He'll be willing to tell you more about the ghost ship. Look at your map. The harbor is here. Yeah, I see it. You mean that guy who came to visit, Grandpa? He asked about the ghost ship. I remember him. I'll go with Link and show him who he is. It's okay, right, Grandpa? Yes, I don't see why you can't go along. I'm sure you can help Link. Thank you, Grandpa. Let's go, Link. Wow. Okay. She's always been antsy, that one. Now, Link. Yeah. Lately, there have been many monster sightings. I gave in to you and told you about Linebeck, but you be careful out there. Alright. Okay, what's Bye -bye. up with chat? Oh my gosh. Stop it. I mean, no. Hood says, okay, so this is gonna be interesting. Instead of seeing my giant ass hand over the screen while I move around in this game, I get to see Link actually walking around. Oh yeah! <laughs> it's a new experience for a lot of people. Seeing the game play out without your hand on it. <laughs> I'm, I am very fortunate because I have smaller hands and I am left-handed, so I got to stare at most of the screen. Oh, nice. Chip says, GameCube the science translated to the DS. Shabak says, he put it in Ganon's head, remember? Oh, the sword. Oh. Hmm. Hood says, lol, we'll need the plot convenience waters for Breath of the Wild 2, I guess. Okay, here's my take. If they let you transfer inventories from Breath of the Wild to Breath of the Wild 2 in some capacity, that's a, that's that would be a nice bonus. Um, Chip says they never explained what happened to the King of Red Lions boat. Link sailed away in the end of Windbreaker. Um, I like Stripe's answer. Stripe says it fell into a plot hole, most likely. <laughs> ah yes, the ocean plot hole. Oh no. Strabex says, whenever I see a green rupee, I think of the one in that chest in Wind Waker. Oh, the... The, the one rupee chest? Yeah. I had a... I, had, I, I still have the clip of that. It's just like, I, I, I found... I, I tracked down a chest and it was just one rupee. Who says, Lineback? Ice emoji. Why? Strabex says, Lineback is one of three characters I'm surprised didn't show up in Hyrule Warriors. The other two are Gruus and Vati. You know what? Now that I have played those games, I understand. I'm like, why? Why don't you want the meme characters? I'm... I was gonna... I'm... I'm not gonna say it. Oh. <laughs> Is it a spoiler? It's not a spoiler. It was about... Uh, it's about Hyrule Warriors, so... It's just more... <laughs> It was more of a sassy comment than anything, and it's like, eh, it, it's just not appropriate. Let's You're not. a sassy child. What? Oh shit, what? What's that rumbling? Another earthquake. So many quakes lately, so many monsters. Bad signs for sure, and I bet there are even worse things to come. Ah, yes. Uh, who says, no one say anything. Oh. Anything. There, I broke it. Koromaru, hi, hello. Oh boy. Koromaru sent emotes and said, Now I got this phone fixed, I can no longer lurk, for I have four devices to watch peeps and get distracted from my ambitions. Can you imagine that, having four devices with four different streams on them? <laughs> I did that. I've only done it once. Oh, wow. I had a night, I had a night where I was talking in six streams at once. Oh boy, that was fun. Okay, I did not expect this. Being able to take this items from one screen to another. Yep. This is not bad. This is not a bad game at all. Grandpa uses his this cave as a, a storehouse. Although your hands, although your arms are kind of clipping into your head. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Wow, Link, you can just pick up rocks just out of the bat. Definitely not needing an, an item for that. I mean, he's had an entire... This one, Link has had an entire adventure before, you know? He's prepared. Well, sure, he gets to keep that, I guess. Um, Hello, he couldn't keep his sword. <laughs> no, he, he just... It, it fell into the sea, whoops. To the port. Uh, who says, damn it, nice JPEG of a barrel. <laughs> Chip says, it's transparent, so it's a PNG. Ooh, excuse me. 
Okay. What's up? Oh. Oh heavens, that quake just broke the bridge again. So many quakes lately and the bridge breaks every time there's a big one. There's a second way to get to town, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it leads through a frightening cave full of monsters. What to do? It's pro this is probably not what you guys actually meant, but it's most likely a .narc file. Because that's how the, G the DS handled graphics. Is you narc? Yep. Dot N A R C. Why would they? Hmm. You narc. Hood says you are absolutely right, and Kuramaru says PNG with a squiggly, which is very suggestive for a PNG. And and Hood says we're getting fancy now. What? What to do? <laughs> okay. Well, wait for the breach to be fixed, of course. Okay, I'll wait. I can wait. <laughs> or I can go... What? Oh, I forget that if somebody's calling through you, they appear on the top screen. Yep. <laughs> ignoring me. See I'm not ignoring you, just that screen is very small. Oh, hello. Monsters, you look out, Link. It's way too dangerous. You need something to defend yourself with. You have to go back. Bye. What? You can speak now. Just for reference, uh, you might want to help that help that guy with his tr his troubles for a bit. Ooh. Nothing imp nothing imperative, but eh, it, it'll it'll help. Yep. Uh, okay. Anyway, I've just had a bit of bad l of luck, bit bad bit of luck with my garden here. That quick just heaped a bunch of rocks into the middle of my patch. Would you mind moving them? Simply tap on a rock to pick it up. Tap where you want to throw it. I I I just did that. But okay. I mean, this is nice menial work. I like it. Thanks aplenty. You really helped me out there. It's not much, but here's something for your pro trouble. Please, I insist. I insist. Oh wow. Yep. Yep, we're starting off strong. <laughs> well, it's good to get that joke out of the way early on. Dots. Okay. How many dots? At least there should... Six. At least we have something better on the way. Twelve dots. What's with the dirty look? Think I'm a cheapskate? Fine, then here's a hot tip. Look at your map. There's a tree on that spot. Go bash it really hard. I recommend that you jot that down on your map before you forget it. Just scroll on your map, tap menu, then tap map. Oh shit, I can just, yeah. Yeah, I can just do that. While people are talking. Almost reminds me of Chrono Trigger. <laughs> More games should let you do this. That is mainly why I wanted you to talk with him. It's not much, but it's like, eh. It's something it's to help lovely. pick up for later. It's lovely. I have enabled with Titus here um, assist mode, which is great. Cause I want I want to chill on for this game. I've had my stressful time with games already. I want this to be my chill game. I have an entire guide to open and I will be rigorously checking it just so that way you can just enjoy the game and I can make sure we pick up everything in as timely a fashion as possible. Yes. Alright, where's where's OSHA compliance office? Uh <laughs> Try the path to the north, did you? See, I don't pretend you forgot. I told you never go to. I told you to. I told you never to go that way. We've seen so many quakes rattle the island lately, Link. And monsters have been thing closer and closer to town. Be cautious, young ones. That cave leads. Uh, that cave up north leads to the port. It's true. I can't read today. But that path will be crawling with monsters. Don't. Do not even think of of it. Ah. I'm sure someone will get around to repairing the bridge. Someone? Uh... Are you sure? Try to the path to the north, did you? Oh wait, no, I already did this. Okay, um, let's see. So... I will just sneak off. Yeah, well, Grandpa wants us to stay out of trouble, but we need to find your friend. If only you find a sword. Then you could show those monsters. Hmm, if only... If only. We need the power to impale people. And then we can be a hero. I think I remember Grandpa storing a sword back there. Now, how to get this door open? I remember the cracks 
He cracks open the door by writing a number on that sign. I think it says it's the number of palm trees on the beach. Sneaky. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Counting things. Out. It's for babies. No. Yep. It's it's fun to stay at the YMCA. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Am I miscounting? Four, yeah. five, six, seven. Okay. Yeah, <clears> day. <throat> I am a big boy. I can count. Wow. <laughs> if 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 a game sh shows you this as the first puzzle. It's like, okay, I can see how people would feel, uh, how people would feel, um, that this is a baby game. In fairness, they are, te they are trying to help teach a entirely new kind of gameplay schema. Well, yeah, it's like, I think, yeah, I think this is the first Zelda where you can write stuff on it. Keep your hands off my things. Please ask first. Seven. Wow. It's like the game can read my writing. So innovative. Oh, it kept my seven on this on the on the sign. Nice. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's cute. It'll reset when you leave the room, but it does at least keep that in memory for the time being. That's cute. Using the sword, basic number one. Use the side to swing your sword, tapping and drawing lines quickly is a key to deft swordplay. Oh, I'll check that out. Sword. Oh, cute tutorial book. Too bad we're gonna have another tutorial in a minute. Oh no. You found a sword. Ooh, we shouldn't tell Grandpa we're taking it. He's worried himself sick. Good for us though. Now we can defend ourselves with from those monsters. Oh boy, sneaking away from old person. How many times have you done this, Link? Oh, oh no! You two are proving to be quite a handful. Isn't that my sword? What do you plan on doing with that? Grandpa, I'm sorry, but we just had to. He can't abandon his kidnapped friend. He can't wait for the bridge. Yes, I understand, but I can't just let you go. Not without showing you how to handle that sword. I'll teach you how to handle it. Meet me at my house, Link. Oh boy, tutorial. <laughs> Link, so you have a sword. Then the know that even the best swords can be bad. If mishandled, that is, so I must teach you the basics of swordplay. Let's begin with the targeted attack. I'm going to bring out some targets for sword practice. Far safer than real foes. Just tap a target to lock on and close in for the attack. Try it now. Excellent, the targeted attack is the most basic of attacks. Use it well. Now for the slide slash. When you find it hard to lock on to enemies, use the side slash instead. Just sketch a line that divides you and your target to slash at it. This move requires a little practice. Simply sketch to slash. Oh boy, there's something weird. <coughs> We're not done yet. Where are you going? I'm, I'm just getting closer to the other side. You look like you fully understand the side slash. You can also use it to slash several things at once. Remember you would. Ah. And finally, we have the spin attack. Slide the stylus in a circle around yourself to spin attack, Link. Spin! Okay. Don't try out other moves. Target the spin attack. Okay, I, sorry. There. Superb, I can teach you nothing more. Now you must swim on your own. No, 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 don't actually do that. As you venture out among the monsters. But if you do have any problems, return here and speak with me. I feel like they, that was bad wording f from their part. <laughs> oh, I must swim? Goes into water. <laughs> um, let's see. Who says, um, actually it's a dot Wii U shit file. Because this is the, con the virtual console version. Uh, Strybeck says, don't spend it all in one place. Uh... What game did that? Um, uh, Skyward Sword did that one. Oh. Kromora says, at least it ain't a gif. People go insane over a sec five second looping image of a person doing things. 
Hoots says, nice rupee, Rick. We get to see Rick draw. And Chip said, time to draw a sneaky peen. I did. I, that was not a peen. Kuros, oh. Mars says, I know, right? As I'm not an artist, I want to see this. And Hoots said, seven up. The future is now, old man. Trivex said, minish cap. And Kuro Mars said, sword. I need to oh, read geez. this more often. They kind of built up. I mean, if you want, if you want, I can just read them, read them off with you then. But also, I what Carl said just reminded me of the Twilight Princess low percent run. Oh no! <laughs> Swear that. Who loves a seven-hour period where you just stare at a blue rupee, <laughs> and that's and that's progress. Um. Shrevik says looks more like a cartoony asshole to me. What? What? Okay. I I'm why am I why am I listening to you? <laughs> uh I am I am so I am I am dying. Strabek says the X you drew. Oh. Oh, that, yeah. Well, it's not my fault that people draw like X's on asses. X's on asses. Well at least so this XO. At least these these shoes aren't aren't um you know electric. Also also yeah XO 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 that means just ass circle ass circle. <laughs> oh boyoing Yay Boyoing Want to do a somersault? Scribble tiny circles at the very edges of your screen. Roll into that big tree there and see what shakes loose. Roll too much however and you'll get dizzy. I, I didn't know that. Yep, yeah. I believe the limit is three rolls before you get dizzy. Don't worry, they kind of improve it in Spirit, in spirit Tracks where you don't need to do these mini circles every time. I mean, I get it. I get it. You also get dizzy if you do a lot of, yep, a lot of spin attacks. Um, yep. what? I was, oh no, I was gonna say, yep, just like using the tornado spin in Wind Waker. I miss that. Chromar says, I do, I love filler. Damn. Damn it, that's filler. Shrevex says, is it bad that I'm imagining those tones with Wario's voice? I can do Wario's voice for them. Chromar says, just... hey, X, ice on, on, hey, X on ice means dead. Oh no. Chip says, I once played a, a version of Super Mario 64 that had been turned into Ocarina of Time. They hacked in the entire game map and had a ton of custom code that included custom power-ups and bosses. At this point, I'm not surprised that anything made um, regarding hacking the N64. Mm. I mean, they recently put N60 Mario 64 onto Minecraft. So, yeah. They've made everything. Oh, hello. Hmm, a key. I wonder. Ooh, shit. Oh, evil things. Again, this is compared to Skyward Sword. This, this is, this is, this is a happy game for controlling, especially, especially because of the Joy Cons. Small key. Laughs in almost breaking my wrist. Yeah, gosh, that sucked. <clears throat> Koromaru said, when it, when it works, it's at, it's the best thing ever. And when it doesn't, oh god. I'm gonna go with... I should have played the Wii version because that at least had the accuracy of having an actual pointer. Oh yeah, if... You, the, if when people complain about the motion on the Wii version, I just say, have you actually tried? When they talk about motion on the Switch version, I'm like, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. If anybody hates it and Skyward Sword, I'm like, I, I, I understand you perfectly. When, when I, when I took forever trying to go with the last Girahim battle, and then switch to button controls and just finish him off in like ten seconds, <clears throat> that's when I knew, yeah, it's the controls. Um, Strabek says that sounds really cool. Chip says X equals closed butthole. O equals open butthole. I'm wow. pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this needs to 
I'm pretty sure Twitch TOS is not going to like it if we go any further. We've done worse, but thank you for actually helping me put some restraint here. <clears throat> you are you are you are my you're my my angel instead of like me just being surrounded by devils all the time. Look, if Twitch would let if Twitch would let us go free, I don't I would not care. But as long as the TOS says no, the last thing I want is to suddenly see this all fall, go away. I assigned every each and every of my boyfriends uh uh, a cardinal sin, a deadly sin, and uh, I gave Titus lust. You do not want to know why. <clears throat> I don't think you, you can say why on on Twitch. Oh, okay, yeah. Now you know. So don't worry, he's not a prude. We're just we're just keeping it we're just keeping it safe for the sake of my monetization. Coromaru says even a computer in Minecraft, you can play Minecraft in Minecraft. Uh, yeah, okay. Hood also, says, no, I shall not, return to it. not accurate. Eh? Hood says, <laughs> I shall return to S. Skyward Sword, you wrote it as SS, and that just makes me think of something else, but yeah, one day. Strobik says, I heard you like Minecraft, so I put Minecraft in your Minecraft, so you can play Minecraft while you play Minecraft. Wow, them with the, with the vintage memes. Kormaru says, I never complain about the motion controls in most games. And Hood says, Rick restrained. Hmm, Rick. I'm clipping that. Oh, you just clipped me out of con- Did you just clip me out of context? Okay. I need- I'm gonna check. Koromar says, no, don't. Please, God, don't. I'm gonna solve this. Why am I- I'm gonna take forever. It- we've been one hour in, and we're just getting to the first locked key. So... Let's move it on, people. <laughs> ah, choose. Bless you. Hmm. Tap a block oh to grab my. it. And tap the arrows that appear to move it. I watched uh, the clip. Who? Why? Uh, no. It says, can't wait for Rick to beat the final boss in 2025. Oh. Wow. I mean, it's true that we put this on a Friday, so progress may be a little bit slow, but... But... Have a little bit of faith. When pulling the levers first, second from the left. Pulling four levels, w levers, where might those be, I wonder? I bet this hint will be coming handy. How about we write it on our map? Do that, tap, 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 tap. What? Oh, first. Second. Oh boy, I can't wait to eat. Oh, or else. Wait, I, f I forgot what happens if you, if you uh, pull them in the wrong order. Probably something bad. Uh, who says in 2025 because it can't be helped and Koromaru says I'd expect that Yay, Rupi, what's my what's my wallet here? Uh, there's no I believe the cap is 9999 straight out of the gate Finally, thank you game I'm pulling the level second, okay Second First and last, second from the right, so that's the third one. So I assume the third one must be the fourth one. <coughs> be due to logic, because I'm not a baby. Process of elimination. I'm not a baby. Well, I am baby, but I'm not a baby. If you can't do process of elimination, do you do not deserve this game? <laughs> you can't do process of elimination. I think something else is very wrong. <laughs> Hood says, okay, a bit of hope. 2024. Fate 2, I guess. Kormaru says, I have a friend that started 
Fire what? Fire what? Emblem Three Houses. Every it's the we it's this weird inconsistency where every Fire Emblem fan will call will call them in numerical order. Ew. But no one else will. So they so everyone just uses the subtitles, and then when you get to the people who call, use the numbers, it's like which one was that? Yeah, like why does why does it feel wrong to hear Final Fire Fire Emblem sixteen? It's like. Did you mean Fire Final Fantasy? Oh, 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 we are traveling to the alternate universe where Fire Emblem got the popularity that Final Fantasy has. And vice versa. Imagine that. Mm. Uh, but yeah, uh, Kuramar says, I have a friend that started Fire, Fire Emblem Three Houses and we are still in the beginning of the game two years later. Ow. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to. There's there's not that much game to slow you down. I'm 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 gonna move as like I'm gonna move as efficiently as I can. Sun speed run, here we go. Yeah. Well, <laughs> as I say, I did say as I can. As efficiently as I can. I never said as efficiently as possible. I'm just, I'm just trying to be a, be a wise ass. Oh, please be a wise ass. Oh boy, I wonder what I must do with I'll this block. Be a don I'll suddenly be a donkey then. <laughs> um. Strybex says, I imagine fewer people would take exception, exception to its prominence in Smash Brothers in that universe. Oh, I know what to do. Okay. Ah. Wow. Evil. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. I am bad. <laughs> this is this is this 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 paints a promising picture for the rest of the stream. Eh, you're just starting. Um, Koromaru says I do that because I feel like that. And Chip says you need to play that game like four times to get all the routes. I I I mean I, don't I mean to. yes. I mean yes, there are many routes, but it's still at the beginning after only two years. I think that's just a case of dead in the water. Like our D and D campaign. <laughs> it happens. Miraculously, only one I've ever tried has survived, and that's Roscoe's because Roscoe is extremely diligent with those things. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Just I heard nothing else, so it's just I've just. Mickey is haven't... a busy, busy man who is prone to just things. We made it no. to the port. It's so much farther to walk when the bridge is out. Now that we're here, let's look up Lineback on Google. I've met him once or twice. Can't say I care for him. I I feel like I feel like this this is like this is like a screenshot. This is like a reaction <laughs> image. <laughs> He's an awfully big talker for such a big cuckoo. <gasps> Offensive. Okay, let's head to the port. Yeah. Okay. Um, Koromar says, I blame his huge backlog and what takes priority. And Koromar says, Rick hit Rick. What's Chip a Rick? Says, Rick's not a rat. Hood says, I thought your whole life was your D&D campaign. I can just imagine a bard, Rick. I, why would I be a bard? I'm not a musically oriented. Well, you talk about your charisma, about charisma a lot. So I was just like, ah, perfect. That's true. Okay, let's not, let's not play a literal instrument what's my i'm a bard my instrument is a theremin there 
<laughs> Welcome to Mary Kay Island Port. You normally see sailors coming and going, but rumors that the ghost ship has returned have all but shut down our harbor. I have issues with that figure of speech. All but. Because it doesn't doesn't mean what you think it what it sounds like when you put the words together. But anyways. Except for one brave soul who recently docked his ship, that is. All but. That means everything has, has happened but that thing. But no, it means that that thing has happened. I find it very weird that that, that that figure of speech is effectively just a negative of what those two words together actually mean. It annoys the hell out of me, but that's just because I'm picky and English is my second language. Ugh, not again. This crummy bridge breaks every time we have a quirk. Don't have time to keep on babysitting this thing, not when ships get fixing. Needs fixing. But Oshu says that bridges are just as important as ships. When that old man tells you to do something, you do it, like it or not. And I don't like it, but I'll do it. Anything to avoid Oshu is nagging me all the time. You are cute. I like you. Salutations, Juan. Oh, hello, Juan Hex Gem. Gem? Hex Gem. Gem. So it's coming into the chat to say Lineback's theme is an underrated gem in terms of Zelda music. It is a good one. Is it? Yeah, it's not bad. Who says? I wouldn't put it up. All but a bad expression. Shut up. Uh, I wouldn't put it up there with Gruus's theme, but it's a nice one. I think Gruus's theme just farts. No, <laughs> no, but everyone likes that. Oh, hey, see that chest? I see that chest. Can you guess what you need to do? <sighs> Let's see. Oh no. Can I jump? Is that even at my, at my same level? I mean, you're allowed to jump, but uh, Link is only a kid. Hmm. Hmm, You can actually get that. I will say you can actually get oh, that oh, now. Oh, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know. Where are you? Where are you, you stupid thing? Oh, wait. Uh, apparently, we missed a chunk of the chat. I am on it. Oh, boy. Uh, Hood says, bar the void. Yeah, that's my that's my designation. Oh, man, this pause screen hurts on the eyes. Um, Chip says, do not look up line back on DeviantArt. Just don't. Ugh, nope. Kurumar says, I mean, not a rat, but the Rick multiverse. True, there is a Rick rat somewhere out there. We have not met him yet. Shrebek says, Bards don't always play instruments. I did hear that. That's why I said, okay, maybe it's not such a bad idea. Um, I do have a bot ran. I do play a, a, an instrument, actually, IRL. Well, I don't play it, but I just have a drum. I just have a, a Celtic drum. I you just bang on it. Rhythmically, sometimes, at cons, it should be enough. I only know how to play the trumpet. That's so cute. Um, Cormor says, you never know. And then Chip says, just keep the chunk of chat. Okay, thank you. Put says, our words don't matter. Whatever. Woo -woo. I, there, I say them. Cormor says, look, lines. Uh, okay, I think I see. So you can see this, right? Uh, it's lines because I think that's the way that the DS screen could do, quote unquote, um, lowering the brightness of the screen by essentially just putting lines on it. It dimmed the light. Uh, Cuckoo! Fly, Cuckoo, fly! Yay! Congratulations, you did a smart. You got the Zora scale. What? This rare scale was dropped by Zora. What? So do you remember how Skyward Sword had treasures? Yes. Oh Guess no. what came before Skyward Sword? Oh no. Oh no! Not again! <laughs> oh, I am so dead. Yeah. And, well, thankfully, it's nowhere near as central to, well, doing anything as it was in Skyward Sword, but it's also a lot more rudimentary, so... Eh, I'll get used to it. 
Look at this remarkable ship. What do you think of it? It's weird. Oh, just look at her. What a ship. Such a proud beauty. Time loses all meaning when I gaze upon her. Are you horny for this ship? Oh, if she were only mine. Oh, you, you're horny for this ship. It belongs to a sea captain. Who, what goes? What goes? By the name of Lineback. A fearless soul, I hear. He's seen the whole world, yet never seen defeat. What? You're searching for Lineback? The captain usually drops anchor at the milk bar, but I haven't seen him in days. Perhaps the bar owner knows where Lineback has vanished to. Milk bar. Ah yes, the milk bar, because that's what everyone goes to drink after a long day at work. Well, hashtag relatable. But that's because I'm Rick and I'm baby. Despite me I saying don't. I was not baby. I mean, I don't drink alcohol either. I love you. <laughs> Yay. It's, well, that's just me. I... I like my sober partners. Mostly because I have a bad... Not personally, but like... I don't like... The effects of alcohol on people. I'd... I'd kind of just rather not... Have that happen. So I don't drink. Uh, yeah, it's not necessary. And looking for the ghost ship, you say? Don't mean to take the wind out of your sail, but stay away from that ship. All those who become obsessed with that ship are soon ruined by it. That ship has pirated the life ah, the life for many a soul, but some of us still remain. Oh, knock on wood. Oh, knock on wood. Indeed. Oh, what's happening now? <laughs> this chat is extremely active. <laughs> um... Who'd say the lines like remind me of Naneshi no ga game? It keeps happening. Kuromura says, I love me some Japanese, and then some Japanese. Let me see if I can't translate that. Kuromura says, Japanese be fun. Who says, I don't have Japanese installed on this computer, but doso joroshu joroshuku onegai shimasu. Apparently, the Japanese is just. It's pronounced hi, which translates to yes. Yes. Chip says weebs. Who says I'm proud of it. Chip said milk bar in quotes. Strabek says milk in the Zelda series is alcoholic. That is actually kind of true. It, wait, hasn't Link been drinking? Oh. Yep. There, There is an entire special brand of milk in Majora's Mask that gives you infinite magic. Yes, and guess where you get it from? Oh my goodness. Yep, it, they're they're not subtle that they put alcohol in the milk. It, like you 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 fix something like you censor something, but then you uncensor it by making it do that. Um, who says says the person who hasn't watched a single anime since 2017? Question mark. Kurumaru says this phone luckily has a Japanese keyboard. Weeb. Chip says, just like the juice bar from the Thousand Year Door. And Chip says, I can't stand alcohol either. And that's how I like my partners. Shrabek says, I feel like she's talking about a pairing. Uh, Hood says, can you even drink, Rick, considering what happened to your liver? Um, that's the weirdest thing. I almost got cirrhosis and made liver without having ever, ever drunk anything. But it just happened because of fatty foods. I almost died uh, a few years ago. Um, Hood says, everyone shut the hell up. <laughs> Hood says, wow, that means chocolate milkshakes must be extra interesting in the Zelda universe. Kormar says, I always fear that experiences never are nice when I'm around people who partake of the adult beverages. Pay no attention to me, though. Shrek says, it's like trying to cover up swearing with even louder swearing. <laughs> Kromar says, I love that milk, it gives me good stuff. And Hood says, I see. Wow, I'm you going know, very slowly. You know, it kind of reminds me of like the opposite situation with one another DS game. Follow Justice Ace Attorney. Oh, Every the grape Phoenix juice. Yep, except it actually is grape juice in the Japanese. Everyone thought it was censored. It actually is just grape juice. That's, that's the best subversion of it. You know, I've Everyone been to a lot of places, but the milk here, it's the best. Yum. I want milk. 
A new customer, oh, hearty greetings. Lots of locals drifting here to while away the hours. Bit empty at the moment. But aren't you a tad short to be in here? Take no offense, sir. Oh. You'll be more than welcome when you've gone a little farther in life. Yeah, it's alcoholic. <laughs> Looking for Lineback? Sure, I know him. And that chair there knew him recently. Weird way of putting it. Lineback just dashed out, saying he was off to the Temple of the Ocean King. I tried to stop that crazy fellow, but off he went to the north side of our isle. Did my ears hear that right? He went to the Temple of the Ocean King? Listen up, Jungan. Listen good. The Ocean King is defender of all creation, God. And that temple up on the hill was built in his honor. None more worthy. Sadly, a curse was laid on the place that sucks the souls from all who enter. None dare step into the Temple of the Ocean King, so put it out your mind. Can't say where your friend's gone, but I'll tell you this. Stay out of there. Yes, steer clear. That's what we all do. But the odd visitor now and then can't resist it. What? Where is it? Right here on their map. You're not actually going there, are you? You put it on my map. First of all, Link goes to the to the chair they point to, to sniffs and like, hmm, Lineback got his scent now. And second, imagine you're a small kid who has always listened to adults and their parents and everything, and a game tells you don't do this, so you don't. And you never progress in the game. <laughs> you never finish the game because you're I such a good that. kid. I've done that. Oh my goodness. Ah. I mean, one. I had one funny moment playing Final Fantasy XIV where I said, I literally said, I am never doing that platforming puzzle. Then some random person said, hey, come do this platforming puzzle. And then I dropped everything I was doing and did the platforming puzzle. Ah. What's funny is that I also was so determined to make this random person happy with me. I solved, I finished it in half an hour when all my other friends are still working on it weeks later. Well, we are weird kids. That, that happened last month for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. No. no. Oh, poor baby. Oh, sweet, sweet Titus. Oh, no. Oh, what now? Chip says, make sure your grape juice doesn't contain glycol. Kormar says, oh. people just don't do their gaming research. Travik says, they say to avoid it, so it must be dangerous. Hood says, parents also tell you not to listen to strangers, though. Kuromaru says, oh, as we all know in all good RPGs, whenever a character says not to go somewhere, you must therefore do it. That's rule number five of RPGs. Hood says, lol. Hood says, you drew this picture of a ghost. Your dad was so proud he hung it on the fridge. That was four days ago. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Uh, uh, to be like, to be precise here, who are we bullying? <laughs> hmm. Oh, tree. Hello, tree. That they told me to. Oh, Bigo. You can see why I told you to go pick up those rocks now, can can you? Well, it did seem like a side quest, but also, yes. What do we do with you, rocks? Nope. What do we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Hmm. Hmm. Cracked thing. Cracked, cracked ball. I. You can probably guess what to do with that. You want it? <laughs> but not yet. Lamp oil, ropes, bombs. Gosh. There's no lamp oil. What's the last game I played with lamp oil? Uh, that was Twilight Princess. Yes, that's it. Uh, and with rope too, I think. Aha! Uh -huh, so this is the Temple of the Ocean King. Legend has it the temple was built to honor the mighty Ocean King, but the temple has fallen into ruin, and people say it ruins anyone who enters. Ha! Huh? Still, we have to find Lineback. So let's dive right in on in Link. 
Okay, it's still this still game still looks pretty. Uh, who says that's homesick thing? The mother of all green rupees. Yeah, I know that the ghost picture was like a, was a homesick thing. Who says what's with this writing? <laughs> Whoa, look, Link. Holy shit, Link! Looks like someone's skeleton. What is he doing here? You don't think this could be Linebeck? What's the skeleton doing here in this temple that I just said is supposed to ruin anyone who enters? Gee, I wonder. This is really starting to creep me out. Starting. Only is now starting. Okay. Well, this is pretty. I love how they did like the mossy texture on the on the ground of the uh, stones. Granted, it's also in a pattern, which is kind, of, which does kind of stand out. But I'm gonna make somebody angry, and I'm gonna say this is one of the prettiest Zeldas I've played. I mean, for what the for the hardware limitations they had, then yeah, they actually did do quite a lot technically. Several people are typing. Ooh! If you want pure, if you want the pure gr mathematical graphics, then no. But well, we're not talking that. Give me this. Give me this. Give me this. But the plot says no. But I want it. It's right there. Just take it. Nobody's gonna say anything. Hey! Wait. Did you hear something, Link? I hear my own thoughts. Hey! Okay, I definitely heard something, didn't you? Hey, there's something, someone over there, Link. You, kid, over here, kid. I'm talking to you. You came at the right time. You're lucky you found me. Lucky for me, but lucky for you. Now, help me. Oh, him? That's Linebeck. Hey, are you listening? I said help. What is he screaming about? For someone playing to be safe, he sure is rude. What do you say? Oh, it's that ch chatty fairy from the old man's place. Yes, I got it. Listen, can you help me out? Just pay attention to what I have to say. I know you're a kid and all, but try to listen up. I'm trapped in here and I don't know what to do. Normally I'd free myself without any problem, but... I sprained my ankle and I can't move. Will you help? No. Wait, what? Wait! Can you see I'm begging? Come on, please. No. Kid, you're just heartless. You got nothing to lose. Come on, help me out. Fine. I knew you'd come through for me, kid. Well then, do something about these pointy spikes. There's got to be a way to disarm the trap somewhere around here. Fine, Linebag, just wait there. Let's help him out, Link. Oh boy, this is the... And this is where the, this stuff kicks in. Yep. Um, who says this is the entrance, Rick? Chip says them's fighting words, but you're absolutely right. Okay, I say it looks pretty because I'm looking at it with crisp pixels on a screen on my face. Oh, hey, wait a second. There's something I forgot to tell you. One thing you should know about this temple, it'll suck the life out of you. Like, like a good suck? Why didn't you tell us sooner? That's pretty important, you know. Let me finish. Don't go running away yet. I know it's scary, but it's not like the temple will suck the life out of you all the time. I'm not sure why, but as soon as you stand on areas like this, you'll be okay. Show me that map. See all those purple spaces? They are probably safe zones. Were you, li were you listening? Did you get all that? Yep. Keep your strength up, kid. Don't be shy about breaking pots. Now get me out of here. Oh boy. Ah, uh, yes. A casual soul drain. It's casual soul drain. Yep. Cormar says, I'm not about I'm not sure about the heartless. I don't see the sigil on their body, not nor glowing eyes. Heartless. <laughs> Who says Nintendo dual screen, Nintendo Switch Online, Virtual Console when? Ah. Mm. Uh, okay, let's see. Ah 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 Wow. Ah, ah. Also, I can't. Flying back, 
Linebeck must really be low on hearts right now because those spikes only come up to his shins, but apparently that's way too much. Oh. Nothing is there. This is also a reaction image. <laughs> oh no, it's empty. I wonder if someone got to it before us. Oh. Linebeck, were you solving this dungeon? How dare you. There. Are you kidding me? That little boy did it. Okay, I'm taking that as my cue to get out of here. Freedom! What? What just happened? Uh, sure, okay. Uh, did you forget anything here? No? Is that it? That's it? That's all. That's all you can do right now. Let's go. Phew, I think we can take a quick breather. Hey, you said you sprained your ankle. You're, you're, you're walking just fine. You said you needed our help. Bah, it's not like you're the one who did the saving. Hey, kid. You're pretty brave for someone so short. I mean, not as brave as me, but not too shabby. So your name is Link, huh? That's a weird name. The name is Linebeck. I'm a real man of the sea. Impressive, huh? It was smooth sailing for me in the beginning, but then I got myself stuck in that trap. This place will suck the life out of you if you let it. Blasted temple. What are you doing in a place like this, anyway? And what do you want from me, kid? What? You're looking for the ghost ship? So you're trying to get your mitts on the treasure? Why does this... Is this guy a descendant of Gruz? He's kind of like the Gruz of this game. Yeah. Holy shit, he's so Gruz. Who says N-D-S-N-S-O-V-C? Who says Cat Jam? Don't shake the baby! Shrabek says new head cannon. It's my it's my first it's my first um, Zelda head cannon. Everybody has their own, but this one is mine. He is a descendant of Gruz. That is this thing. First, for some reason, my head just thought head cannon meant you strapped a literal cannon to your head. Ah, and I shoot eggs from it. I'd love it. Somebody draw that. Oh wait, we can't ask Conan for art because he's trapped in the middle of nowhere right now with a car that doesn't work. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I got surprised today when he just posted that into our group chat. He just said, I'm in the middle of nowhere in the, in the highway and our car doesn't work. I'm like, when did you go into the, like, when did you go on the road? Where are you? I thought you were still in the city. Nope. Treasure? What are you even talking about? Link is trying to save his friend. She was abducted by the ghost ship. He came hoping you might know more about it. Oh, really? Boo-hoo, how sweet. I think I'm gonna cry. Oh, I'm just teasing, kid. I'm gonna shake you more. If that's what this is about, I'm on board. I'm here looking for info about the ghost ship, too. I was just a step away, but I sprained my ankle. Otherwise, I would have explored this cursed place. Is it why you wear boots? Liar, I just saw you running like a rabbit. No, no, you didn't. That was just an illusion. My ankle's still throbbing. The pain is unbearable. Oh. Oh, the pain. Anyway, you want to know about the ghost ship. Go on without me, kid. Shaking you more. Go grab the clue about the ghost ship. It has to be in there. We need we need it to find the ship. Got that? You're faking it. I think you're just scared. Not a chance. Normally I'd be leading the charge down there, but I know how much it means to Link. I'm letting him save the have the glory of his saving his friend. So anyway, here, take this with you, kid. I found this key around here. It might help. 
key. You get a small key. I love key. this part. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful. You know what you got to do, so get to it. No, okay, like, yeah. Oh, and good luck in there, kid. Guess what game is sh is is shaping up to be a contender contender for eight year? I I I swear when Linebook was shaking around Link, I was just thinking, all right, now beat now beat the the eggs hard until you have until it's until it's thick, and we have the perfect batter. <laughs> Uh, no, like, like, well, I, I relate to Linebeck here because I do that to my IRL friends a lot. <laughs> and partners. I do that a lot. <laughs> uh, hold Speaking on. Speaking of which, who... Yeah, who said, you? are not those the Sonic Media devs? Hmm, now that I think about it, I only know of one person who does that to people. <laughs> Shaking them, you know. Also, mm. Salutations called us. The jig is up. Um, Cold Dust Productions, hello, you're new here, says, I swear with the amount of times Linebeck shakes Link, it's gonna give Link some older version of baby shaking syndrome. I mean, with how big Link's head is in proportion to the rest of his body, I wouldn't be shocked. It's just small brain jostling around. He's just... No, like, why would you shake a, like, is that even kosher anymore? Just, like, <laughs> abusing a kid like that? No. I don't think anyone ever thought it was appropriate to shake violently jostle children like that. Mm -hmm. Trebek says, this game has a lot of flavor. And Hood says, oh wow, he confessed. The baby shaker confessed. <laughs> I, I had a lot of flavor. I had apple butter toast, and then I had ice cream. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll go for it. All right. Ah... Uh... <laughs> That's definitely not gonna be the gimmick of me playing this game, yelling every time I'm outside of a safe zone. But ah, ah, oh, come on, <laughs> it's do scary. whatever you want. Eh, you'll you'll have ways to mitigate that. I mean, I know. Cold dust production <laughs> says no. Baby shaking syndrome is bad. <laughs> is it? We we, we, uh, we agree there. Ah. Uh, Whee. Oh! I'll... <laughs> oh no. Yep. Also, I love how can you can you see the the hourglass symbolism here? I do see it. The map? It's in the map. Wow. <laughs> I wonder. Wait, what am I doing? The, the subtlety of a brick flying at your face. Oh, both of them. Okay. Cool. Okay, that was very silly. Open, 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 open. Ah. Ah. Uh, scary. It says absolutely, yeah. Okay, what do we get? What's my prize? Uh, C chart. Oh boy, not the C charts. Well, you have obtained obtained plot progression. Well, I hope there's only four this time. It must be an important clue to finding the ghost ship. You should show it to Linebeck. Where are we? How far away from Hyrule did we sail? Uh, you'll find out. Whoa, look at that old sea chart. I wonder if that's a clue to the ghost ship, Linebeck. To the ghost ship? Linebeck was talking about. Why did I put those things together? Ghost ship, Linebeck. And in, in, your, in your fairness, the font... Could be better. <laughs> it's it's weird. I'm I'm having thoughts about this font. I have very strong thoughts about this font. My it... one hour um, video essay about uh, about <laughs> the, um, Phantom Orglas's font. Yeah, this uh, the the font issue is something they definitely improved upon when in later games. Strybeck says the ghost ship Linebeck. And Hood says, what a nice name for a ghost ship. <laughs> hey! I love... Where's Linebeck? Or all... 
Yes, sorry. Can you believe the nerve of that guy making us go in here by ourselves? Now that we got the C chart, I got some words for him. Okay, what is it? Okay, alternatively, with Stripe's comment, the ghost. Ship line back. We're gonna ship line back with people. Um, I ship him when I don't have enough characters. I need <laughs> don't to worry. meet more characters. Don't worry, you'll meet plenty. <laughs> give me, give me DS Mogmas. Obviously, the true answer is to ship Linebeck with Oceus. I entered the temple in search of the treasure, but monsters that could not be slain with a sword stalked the corridors. Oh no. None of the corridors we just saw. So even if you clear a trap, it resets once you leave. I should have made notes on my map. But I couldn't make notes on maps that have these icons. Oh wow. <laughs> Ghost, ooh, haunted by the game's interface. I foolishly entered this temple. In moments, it drained the life right out of me. Right, can I get the the hourglass now? Give me. One one has to wonder just with how fast Linebeck figured out what the safe spots were and how they're very obvious, glowy, glowing pink sp spots. Just what did these guys do? To get I, themselves killed, only I, just at the top. I think. Yeah. How are they? How are they out here, dead, and not dead in there? They, they, I feel like this game would have been more ominous if the skeletons would have been like dead in the in the uh, danger areas in there. Yeah. Oh ho! If it isn't the little monkey, in his twinkly paw. That is that. Okay, slow getting the goods, huh? Slow, how dare you? You were quick enough to run off, injury and all. What an insult, I was merely hurrying back to my ship. Any captain wards his salt put his ship before his own safety, I'll tell you. But tell me, little monkey, what did you find in the treasure chest? Ah, map, let me, let me add it. Wow, what's this, some boring old sea map? Oh, now I see. It is, as we call in the adventuring business, a treasure map. If we probe its mysteries, we can find the very prize I'm seeking, the ghost ship. And by we, I mean me! Farewell, little monkey, I'm off to find adventure. Did he really just do that? He muscles in our map, then he then runs off with it? What should we do next? Is line back at his ship link? Progress the plot, maybe? Ah. What should we do? Uh, so I guess I'm not getting the hourglass yet. Yep, oddly mm. enough, they don't throw the hourglass right at you. Yeah. I wonder what kind of hourglass is that? Perhaps of some ghostly kind. Hmm. I'll find out. Hootses, they surely got hurt and craw crawled their way out until perishing before making it. Oh, that's that's dark. I mean, that's the most logical explanation, I guess. Who says Link's blank expression was priceless there? Okay, see, it works here. It doesn't work on on Pokemon Sword and Shield. Or um, no, what was the one? Sun and Moon. When the when the protagonists just have the smiley faces when all the shit is going down. I'm, I'm going to find any excuse to roast Pokemon games. Welcome, shopper. How can I help you? Oh, shit. You can now get a shield. You can just get it right off the bat? Yep. A wooden shield. It looks very metallic. But okay. Probably from the little bits that aren't wood, that aren't metal, I guess. How do you hold a shield? Uh, What is this? Nope, the Emperor. shield is automatic in this game. Oh boy, I don't have money for this. Uh, this this looks like plot. Hmm. That is that is one of the uh, long-term side quest items. Do I need anything else here? Or I can just come back. Ah, wait. 
Oh, don't don't do that. Uh, I pressed this ER button with my foot. Um, Hood says, "Oof, Sun and Moon's protagonists." Shabik says, "It's probably because Link is a chibi." Chip says, "A glass of ours heavily disposed towards the supernatural." Hmm. Kromar says, "All shall be real next time on Legend of Z." Uh, Cold Dust says, I played Ultra Sun. That game got me out of Pokemon. Oh boy. Hood says, Ah, the Ultra games. Cold Dust says, Too easy. Kromar says, I love the eco this economy. Cold Dust says, I play Monster Hunter and Dark Souls 3 these days. Those sound like edgy games. Okay, how do you do shield? I would assume it would be L. No. R? Nope. Nope. Shield is completely automatic in this game. What? If you have it, you are allowed to block minor attacks. I love you, game! This is probably the most trivial instance of a shield in a Zelda game. Who, who would not love this game for being so easy and letting me just chill? Well, it's... look who's gracing our own presence. It's all men oceans. What is it? What? What? Uh, Titus? Yeah? What were you saying? Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of just a point of why why did they put the shield in if it really does pretty much nothing, but uh I guess. It's an extra line of defense, I guess. Hood says I would play a Souls like Pokemon game. No. Kulda says, Dark Souls, yes, it is edgy. Monster Hunter is surprisingly light, but yes, a Souls-like Pokemon game would be fun. We're not get never getting anything like that. Um, just look at, at, at Pokemon Legends, Arceus, and, and say thanks. The bridge has been fixed, so I thought I'd check up on the jumpsters here. You're an amazing lad to emerge alive from the temple, Link. Very courageous for one so early in his years. You sent me into that treasure temple too, you old barnacle. Any who enter the temple unprepared will find it a terrifying ordeal, and most would lose hearts and flee for their lives upon hearing me say it. But evidently there are true heroes among us, sus. Bring my feathers a little more, old man. Yep, I'm famous alright. Not you, fool. You're a wreck. You'd be sunk by now if your, our, our young friend here hadn't showed up. I was injured! On a typical day, I placed through one or two such temples before breakfast. Oh, Linebeck speedrunner confirmed. Calm yourself, Linebeck, and tell me what you made of the temple's map. I inspected it fully. My trained eye finds that it holds no secrets at all. But wait, old man, what do you know about this map? Ho ho ho! Has the map's puzzle eluded you, Linebeck? If I may see the map. A standard map would simply show you where to go, would it not? This is no standard map. You'll find that one section is a little flaky. Touch it. I trust you can solve the puzzle, Link. Wow. Touch. Uh, Chip says, because tradition and cold dust says, Oh yeah, I forgot about Pokemon Arceus for a sec. That does look refreshing, but whether I get it is debatable, deba debatable because, well, money is finite. Yeah, but then boyfriends. Um, what to scratch? 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 Yep, you just... When it says scratch, it just means using the touch screen again. I won the lottery! Uh, hooray, you found the plot! Hey, look at that, a secret mark on the map! What? That marks the spot of an isle born of volcanic strife. It is the Isle of Ember. A fortune teller named Astrid lives there and she sees far, Link. So you should ask Astrid if she can see where the ghost ship might be. Isle of Ember, eh? I always suspected there might be something there. So it's as simple as sailing there and finding Astrid. So we're off to Isle of Ember then. See, I'd like to I, I'd like you to go with Link. You'll be essential to his efforts, I'm sure. And by seeing the outside world, you might just find your lost memories. Will do, happy to help. Sorry that we have to pile around with Lineback though. Still, I'm glad to sail the seas and see the world. What? Don't tell me I, that I have to haul around that twinkly bit of fluff too. 
Uh, fine then. Okay, the Isle of Ember awaits. Ready to set sailing? Am I ready? Am I? Yeah. Chip says Isle of Ember. I wish. Then climb yep. aboard. The open sea calls. Okay. I forgot how the sea is in this game. Still, so, uh, it's if you remember. No, no, wait. Sorry, I crossed my own wires there. Uh, it pretty much is just the standard move around, plan your route, and just follow it kind of deal. Ah, oh, cute. It's off to the open sea with us then. I'll leave all the navigation to you while I stay down in the engine room. Tap the feather pen icon to access your navigation chart. Just draw a line and the ship will follow that exact path. Try it out. Yeah. So yeah, it's just going down. Yeah. There's a beetle Sad there. Sadly, there's really not many side things to do until after you clear the first dungeon. Let me guess, I don't have money. There are, you can go to the to the other island available, or to Beetle, but you need a lot of money to get anything they want, so... Okay, thank you for saving my time! Servix says, I'm wondering how the Wii U will handle certain parts of this game. I know what you're talking about, and it does handle them. Cold yep. Dust says, I actually did discover a speedrun strat for the boss there when I was 11. I won't spoil it, don't worry, no worries. Who says, I made it, it made easy, so be, so my Beat Zelda games path was Phantom Hourglass, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Spirit Tracks, Skyward Sword, A Link to the Past, Zelda 1, fuck, don't tell me, uh, Minish Cap, uh, Four Swords, Four Swords Adventures, A Link Between Worlds, Zelda 2, Link's Awakening, Oracle of Ages, Oracle of Seasons, and Breath of the Wild. Oh shit, I know all the, uh, all the, um, abbreviations. Nice. Who says, sorry, kind of overshare there. Guess I'm just thinking aloud. Well, you just made my polls go to minus 10, so it's fine. Who <laughs> says, yeah, Rick the Zelda Master. Okay, if you're gonna, okay, this is my lesson to you people. If you're gonna hate a series, at least be knowledgeable about it. Yay, we are off. Squadala. Oh, almost forgot. See the engine on the right? Tap stop to stop. Through some course, tap go. Well, let's see if you want to look around the sea. Touch the screen set. Stay alert up there. Touch up, down, left, and right to look in all directions. Okay. Oh. Sure. Wow, pretty graphics. Can't wait to get a cannon. Oh, you can jump. Ooh. I completely forgot about this. Come on. It must have been cool at least. A little bit cool to have a portable Wind Waker. Yeah. It is. This isn't... I wouldn't say this is as good as Wind Waker's Ocean, but it does it is pretty nice. I mean now that I play here's the thing. Finally, I'm I'm touching this game after finally playing Wind Waker. And I understand now. I appreciate it more. Wind Waker or Phantom Hourglass. Yes. Fair enough. Um who says hate a series with Link's Awakening in there? Uh, again, I said I hate the series, not that I hate one game or two games. I love this game, for example. Who says, can't wait to get a cannon to shoot that piece of crap frog from the sky. <laughs> Kurmar says, I can't wait for some weeb out there to say I beat hacking BS Zelda. Really? Who's gonna... Who says bullshit Zelda, they whisper. Who says true that? We don't count fucking BS Zelda. That's That's <laughs> something else. Anyway, you want to get obscure. This must be the Isle of Ember that Grandpa was talking about. We're here. It looks very withered. A certainly example of my helmet ship. Impressed, Link. What? You didn't even know where the island was. 
Who sketched our course on the C chart? Yeah, Link did. What? You piece of fluff. You just don't appreciate the finer points of sailing. But you get me, right, Link? No. Abuse your captain, will you? Okay, you little mo adventure monkey. Why don't you run off and find Astrid? I'll be right here waiting for you, taking care of my ship. Humph. What? Staying behind? You're scared, aren't you? Me? me? Sc scared? I'm never scared, you little flirting shrimp. You two go ahead. I'll be breaking my back working on the ship for, for your sakes. Is 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 the entire game just bickering? It's just bickering. Eh, uh, don't worry. But also, breathing? Question mark. Ah. Uh, Chip says, uh, "I beat PS Zelda the Tone Tablets emulated it years and years ago." Kuromar says, hey, I know it's not canon, but you gotta be a proud person for playing a game like that. Chip says, I love how the adventure mode of Harry Warriors managed to convert the entire overworld of this and Spirit Tracks into 8-bit. What? Really? Yep, there were bonus maps that you could play in Hyrule Warriors that basically took the ocean, ocean and the map of Spirit Tracks and just made them like 8-bit chunks. You didn't explore them per se, they weren't their own levels, but you could fight different matches there in each tile, and if you completed whatever objective, you'd get bonuses. There were even seek items you'd get, and you'd be able to try and find secrets in those bonus tiles. Huh. Hum. Strabex says, I kind of wonder if the PS Zelda games inspired Majora's Mask time system somewhat. It is a mystery. Good day to you. What do you have for delivery? Nothing. Oh no. Please don't assault me with um, scantily clad mailman. Here we go again. Oh my god. Suspicious weed. Link touched the suspicious weed. Are you? <laughs> well, we've not made it to four hours, 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. No, it's too early for that. Oh, no! You're trapped. Now, I know this is a small thing, but honestly, when they bring up that door to block you, I think they did a pretty cool job with the door. I know it's such a small thing, but intimidating monster face door. You're in a m arena now. It's cute. Yeah. Also, the music. I just realized it's the Wind Waker music. The, yep, uh, they took a lot music. from Wind Waker. That, like, see, that's what helps me appreciate this game more. It's like, ooh, I know this. I know this. I know that. King on Lake. Wait, I want that rupee. I feel a presence on the other side of this door. Hey, I hear footsteps behind there. But this door looks pretty locked to me. What should we do? Hey, let's call out. Ready? Okay. Call it something loud. Loud and clear. Um. Are you naked? Hey, back there. Who? Who's there? Someone heard you. You did it, Link. Are the monsters gone? Get me out of here. It's safe out here. Who are you, the fortune teller Astrid? We can immediately tell you who we're looking for, so you'll say yes. Yes, that's right. My name is Astrid. I was sealed in here to hide from the monsters. I didn't foresee one thing. I can't open the door from the inside. I don't know who you are, but could you open it? Yeah. Thank you and good luck, because this will, this will be tricky. Do you see the map hanging beside the door? That map is somehow the key to open the door. Unfortunately, only my ex assistant Kayo knows the secret of it. Okay, got it. So we have to find Kayo to learn the secret. Hold on, Astrid. We'll get you out of there as soon as possible. Mark the locations of our island three porches. Yep. Again, let yep. me let me see. Let me see this. It's 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 part of the experience. Oh boy, 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 boy. Chat. Sorry if I've been a little too zealous tonight. 
Zealous? Just jumping the gun. The Legend of Zealous? Uh-huh. Uh, Strabexes. Oh, I love these Octoroks. I wish the ones in the 3D games would walk around like that. I thought these were like, um, choo-choos. Nope, these are Octoroks. They look red to me. And guess what? In a small screen of a DS, you would probably think the same. I honestly thought they were just another variation of the choo-choo as well. Yeah, I tell you, just red blobs on the screen. Just poke them until they're gone. Strabek says, I wish the ones in the 3D games would walk around like that. Hood says, wasn't Capcom working on a Wind Waker GBA version or sequel or something like that? Uh, Capcom had made Minish Cap and the Oracle games. What they wanted to do with the Oracle games was make a trilogy, but they couldn't find a way to make the password system work beyond two games, so they had to scrap one, scrap the third one. Mm -hmm. Capcom makes the best Zelda games on Admi. Mm. I mean, they didn't make Link's Awakening. <laughs> well, the Oracle games were very Link's Awakening, but more. They were like Link's Awakening Plus. Um, Strabic says, I know they made the Minish Cap. Is that what you're thinking of? And Chip says, Capcom make Minish Cap in the Oracle games. And Hood says, oh, before before that even. Cold Dust says, Minish Cap is fantastic. Chip says, and Force Words too. Cold Dust says, I want to play that game too. The fact that me and my siblings found a working copy on some random playground is mind-blowing, especially how rare it is. Wow. Chip says, the Oracle games in Link's Awakening are basically a trilogy. They are. That's at least how I see them. Also, I I'm... just, I just, I just bought Minish Cap on the Wii U. It's like one of the easiest ways of playing it. I am still so lucky that I got the Four Swords Anniversary game on the DSi when that was still a thing. Oh, absolutely! I bought it. I well, bought it. It was free, but I downloaded it on my DSi, on my 3DS. On every DS that I could, on every DSi and 3DS that I could find at the moment, I just told them download it now. Do it. You'll thank me later. And I used to play with friends. Actually, we did play because everybody had a 3DS back then, and it was DSiWare, so it worked there. Um, let's see. Who says? Oh, Strybex says I heard that was retconned in the encyclopedia. Eh. Kromar says, they planned on making a Wind Waker on GBA. The only knowledge we have of this concept is through a screenshot. Hood says, okay, I checked my source. The trusty and ineffable did you know gaming. Kromar says, I'll send it to Titus. And Hood says, yes, that's it. Hood says, David Soliani, a Ubisoft person, was trying to make one to pitch it. What? Where is this lore coming from? Where is this lore coming from? Okay, I didn't see any torches. Oh shit, the electric choo-choo. Zappity zap zap. They also uh, blur your map for a time. I noticed. Oh, I see one. Yeah. Just to know if she saw that detail or not. <laughs> I need some hearts. Don't go breaking my heart. I would never. Aww. But I seriously need some hearts. Holy crap. Boyoink, save me. Boyoing, to open the summit gate, you need what the fortune teller has to offer. Whether you believe in fortunes, however, is up to you. That's not helpful. Oh no. Oh no. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Hint, hint. Do the plot. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Uh, what are they? Are they the Sheikah Stones in this game? Um, do they call them that? I mean, they are essentially the same exact things. Also, salutations to the big floofy. Big floofy, hi, hello, hold on. I'm trying to get hard. Help. Oh no, don't give me so, don't give me blue rupees, I need hearts. Dang it. Well, apparently you picked up one at some point. 
Well, yeah, but I, I well, fine. I'll, I'll go like that and see if I can find more. Wah. Uh, what's happening? Cromar says, I'm a gaming historian. I do my research for reasons. And with Luffy High, he says, okay, now this is a Zelda game I have never heard about. What? Chip says, Gossip Stones. Oh, yeah, Gossip Stones. How boyoing of you. Oh, heart. There we go. Uh, Hood says, use the Zelda amiibo to get some hearts. Wow, funny. What on this? What's the name of these spider boys? Are these the Tektites? Tektites. A fallen adventurer! Look, Link! What? Are we gonna kill it? Again? Oh no! Oh boy, a ghost! Brute force will get you nowhere. Ah, uh, it's a ghost! Get him, Link! Ah, uh, no. wait. Give me some warning before you come at me. I must look really bad, but I swear I'm not a bad ghost. Well, to be honest, he doesn't really look like an evil ghost. My name is Kayo. I used to work for Astrid, the fortune teller. Oh, just look what's going to become of you, poor thing. If you believe in fate, then it's not so bad. And you feel much lighter. Of graver concern, though, it's what happened to Astrid. It haunts me. We just saw Astrid. She asked us to open the door that locks her in. So what? So Miss Astrid is still right? Well then, please open the door for me. I'll tell you the secret. The three torches on this island are the key to understanding. Keep that in mind and you may be able to open the door. Don't, don't Skyward Sword it too much. One torch is right here. Make a note on your maps lest you forget it. I will. Okay. Ooh. Please take care of Astrid. Wow. I was, about to, I was about to add, no wait, don't kill him. He has a unique model, so he must be important. I was thinking that. Are villagers like shared? Villagers? I mean, there are some commonly repeated designs, but KO's model is actually unique. No other NPC has that model. He looks like one of the pirates, but I forget which one. Uh... I can't remember. These these choo choos are gonna kill me. Here's the thing: it's not even the controls. It, in you know, with a normal Zelda, I would probably be doing the sec exact same thing. It's just being a hot mess. But you haven't even entered the fire dungeon yet. You're a, you're a shocked mess. Uh. <laughs> See, game, this is how you make a bearable uh, beepin. I mean, they kind of they kind of learned how to tone it down after a while. Wait, what's this? Um, cool dust sent the uh, sent a uh, seems good. And cool dust says, "Go in the house, break a pot." That's actually smart. Yeah. Thanks for the back seating. Um, what's this? Cormor says, "I sent it to yeah to Rick." Okay. Oh, that is cute. That's a that's a nice looking game. This was supposed to be the uh, Wind Waker for Game Boy. Yep. Let me put that on screen, so it's not lost forever. The time. More that preservation. Is really nice. That is really nice. But I I I, I struggle to see. These graphics in motion. Yeah. Yeah. I think it like the pixel count is too high. <laughs> um. Hood says, "Wow, funny." 
Strabic said T. Hood said, I'll accept that. Uh, Big Fluffy says, wait, wait, you control Link with touch? Yes, you just got that. Kolda says, yep, and you can do that in Spirit Tracks as well. Controls are more fleshed out in that game. Big Fluffy says, this is like Skyward Sword again. I mean, this game came be first before Skyward Sword. I have the I have the most channel points in here than every stream I've been to. Then again, Rick Stream is my go-to time killer. No cap. Ah, I'm blushing. Kolda says, all humans have unique models. Other races do not in this game. And Shrevik says, ooh. Yeah. Oh, wait. There's a flame here. Wow. It's inside a house. How evil of you, game. Why would you put it away? How could this happen to me? Boing. I hear a boing. Oh, is there some... Is there some noise coming through my end? No. You're good. Okay. Asriel, I found it! Holy shit! Just, like, just falls down the stairs because he's so excited. Marley locations of our island tree torches on this very bad JPEG. I yes. am that JPEG. What would we do without you? You touch the right places. <laughs> that's that's innuendo. I'm gonna tell that to my next uh, to my in my next encounter with one of you. You touch the right places. Thank you for opening the door. I'm finally free to go outside again. You bested the monsters who guarded me, so you are no ordinary travelers. May I ask your names? <laughs> Why would somebody say no? <laughs> of course. Link? It evokes kindness and strength in the same breath. Lovely name. Now tell me, what brought you to our island? <laughs> Vacation! Vacation? Vacation? I think not. It's a barren island with a volcano. Well, some people just like to go to those places, you know. You're here for more, far more important reasons, no? Also, Hawaii. A ship. Link is looking for his friend who was taken by the ghost ship. Esri, we were hoping that you might have some insights. Is that so? The ghost ship came to our island a few days ago. That's why it, I was hidden away to escape its ruinous reach. Speaking of which, rich, rich. I haven't seen Kayo since then. Oh no. Astrid about that. Well, Kayo, he's. I see. I sensed it. Just as I foresaw. But it was destiny. He had to die. Well, life has little use for mornings. So Kayo thought. So I'll tell you your fortune. What? My fortune? Yes. Please wait for me upstairs. If any others are with you, please bring them along with you to my chambers. Assemble yourselves and I will join you after I make preparations. Weird. She got over Kyle rather fast. Oh, he was gonna die anyways. <laughs> <laughs> anyways. Uh, oh boy, what's happening here? Chat, help. Uh, Big Fluffy sent a paw. Why? Who says, mm. I keep falling down these stairs. Big Fluffy said, Pop. And sent more paws. And Kuramori said, No cap, Big Fluffy. That's some deep shit to tell a streamer. I bet he's not only blushing, but excited to hear that. Well, when I hear that people are like, they, I come to yours all the time. It's just... It's just nice. Chip sent a boot. And a Rick and a Rick. And Hood said, Consults Rick's touching area body map. Oh, you do know that. You do know I do have a body touching map. Not sure if I can show it on stream though. Um, Shrubbix says the word vacation reminds me of vacation juice. Oh, what? that that stupid Animal Crossing meme. Yeah, because like in the in Pocket Camp, the the phone game for Animal Crossing, they have an item that's called vacation juice, and it's very clearly a cocktail. 
vacation juice. I need hold on. I need that. I need that vacation juice. I need that. I need to show that. It's it's great. It's it's a meme. It's it's a meme. Uh they 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 uh they share the picture of Isabel with vacation juice after drinking it too much vacation juice. It's yeah. Chip says I'm Tom Scott for example. Uh the ginger wolf, hello. Been a Thank while. Asians. Says hey hey hey, how are you, Rick? I am very good. This is this is one like I had had so many stressful streams, this one is really nice after such a hard day today. Kuldas says, thank you for opening the door. I can go outside again. Quarantine in a nutshell. <laughs> no. Who just, pool, a poll? Who says new poll? What? What brought it to your island? <laughs> I, vacation. Uh, Big Fluffy says, nice Sue. Strybeck says, Isabel even gets drunk on it. Hood says, not to say que you can't use Weasel X to rig the poll. Uh, well, you can. All right. Oh, wait, did you did you change it so you can't use uh, X to vote more? You can't. Oh. Chip says, someone even made the vacation juice into a real drink. I want to try non-alcoholic vacation juice. That would be fun. It, it Like, blue drinks. Blue drinks just just call me. There's actually a really nice blue drink in in a uh, Texas Roadhouse that I really like. Um, confounded, you think that someone who sees the future would be on time? Where's Astrid? Let's get our fortunes told and be done with it. She foresaw you would say that. Greetings. Now, if everyone is here, we can begin. Ooh. Open my eyes to the future. A sinister darkness. The mighty sea and the voice of sacred light. I see it. I shall speak. Listen with your hearts. If you really want to find that ghost ship, Link, you must be ready to clash with the very darkness itself. Knowing that, do you still want to rescue Tetra? <laughs> Hashtag yikes. Really, if that's the path you've chosen, so shall it be. <laughs> Link going, what? Link? Treasure? I mean... Tetra, what about Tetra? <laughs> uh, you're planning to help her, right, Link? Yes. I believed in you all along, so without a doubt, now let's talk to Astrid. <laughs> really? The game gives you an option to just like, oh, yikes, bye. <laughs> Instant game over. Link <laughs> just goes on a vacation. Honestly, I'm just scared of, of non-standard game overs now, because so many games have pulled off that bullshit. On me and like, oh, you don't like it? Okay, fine. Uh, en we are undoing all your progress up to this point. Enjoy this juicy salmon. <laughs> I foresaw your return. It's your fate, of course. Many trials still await you, however. You still plan on saving Tetra from the ghost ship? I guess. Oh, very nice. The honesty in your eyes is crystal, crystal clear. Because you have such big eyes, Link. It's like, it's literally like... just. You, you just look in there and it's there. The honesty. Now make haste to the Temple of Fire on, this summit of, on the summit of this island. There you must defeat the power of darkness that haunts this pla that place. You will then find what you need to open the path that lies ahead of you. You have it between you to alter our doomed course of events, Link. But the light that seeks your help is growing faint. Please hurry. Power of darkness, eh? Hey, kid. I uh, just remember that I have to go polish the uh, ship's rudder. Later, kid. Sheesh, what's with Lineback? Oh, let's just let him be and hurry to the temple. This is very silly. Also, vacation one. Yay. You know, uh, I misheard that really badly. <laughs> yes. Mm, we're gonna leave that there. Oh no. Ginger Wolf says Animal Crossing memes here. Vacation? OMG, I lose something good because I made a TikTok video about that today. 
Oh, you kiddos and your TikToks. I am so old. Hood says, yeah, I learned from my mistakes. Hood says, I'll take care of my eggs from now on. Said by highlighting a message and using 100 eggs to do so. Chip said, hashtag yikes. And Hood says, that's a big yikes from me. Hood says, the thousand year door is a culprit, yeah. Yeah, vacation one. Chip says, I need to go iron my dog and my grandma's on fire. Oh, where is that one from? Okay, so is the gate open now? Is the electrified gate open? Or do I need to do something with it? Hello, gate. It's me. I mean, I mean, do you want me to spell it out for you? No. Okay. Okay, we can reach the temple of fire that peeked through here. Come on, tap the door to open it, Link. Why is it not electrified now? Approval entry. You turned it off for some reason. Oh, approval needed for entry. Oh, did you open it for me? How nice. How nice, Astrid. Thanks for that. No, electric shoes. Stop it. Stop existing. Oh, no. TikToks. I mean, tech tech. Tech. Those things. Tech tights. <laughs> Just calling them TikToks. <laughs> oh, I remember this part of the game. Look, the volcano is erupting. Watch out for falling rocks. I, wait, it's not watch out for rolling rocks, so I can't do uh, I can't use QPUs to skip to skip this. Obviously, you just need to enter the matrix and bullet time past every single falling rock. Link, you need to build up speed for 12 hours, <laughs> and then you can backward long jump to the the deep the volcano. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. That must be the temple, but the entrance is sealed. Hmm, I wonder. I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> oh, because there's a treasure chest here. Boobies. Ah. Uh, I misheard what you, you said there. Lower the flames to illuminate the path ahead. I'm gonna skyward sword it for you. Okay, thanks. Ah! <laughs> now we can enter the temple. We did it, Link. Let's go. Face up to the power of darkness. I said let's go before the text. Let's go up here. Wow. Okay. A temple. Oh, so hot. Oh no, there are flames everywhere. You better not touch them. Don't go and burn yourself, Link. Mm, hint. Hint. Nudge. Nudge. Ginger Wolf says, haha, I'm old too. It was my second video. Would like to show you, haha, you would like it. Uh, Chip says, I was dead at the time. I was on the moon. Hood says, I also punch doors with my chibi round hands to open them. Hood says, time to blow. I'm gonna give, I, I gave the, that, those candles the good blow. Where am I? It's hot. Help. Help. Flames. Ah. Uh, through the fire and the flames. <laughs> Don't make haste to make note of the one safe path. You should probably draw this thing. Wow. Oh, wait. Okay. Hmm, I wonder what that means, but let's make note of it. Go ahead, copy that bat by writing it on your map in case we need it later. Okay, okay, I mean, the, I will forgive this game for being like this because it's just starting. Also, it's Zelda for babies, and I like Zelda for babies because it's easier and it makes me happy. Chip says, do not shake the slippery tube. Ah, uh, I love it when you just overwhelm me with references. I found the key. 
Why does it show it as an exclamation point in the map? That's weird. Oh, that that's just the symbol for something had recently changed there. Weird, but okay. Yeah, that's a weird... Oh, come yep. on, you didn't even need it. <laughs> you didn't even need What's the funny... map. What's funny is that the tiles for the ones that fall apart are slightly brighter than the regular path. And they so have an outline, and they open immediately as you get close to them, so... Gee, I wonder how I can hit all four of these at the same time. It's a mystery. Truly a mystery that we will never figure out. Imagine knowing. The more you know. I say never, having never watched that show. Me, me neither, but it's a meme at this point. Oh my goodness, those blockies. Stupid electric things. I'm very smart. I can solve puzzles in dungeons. I am the Zelda expert. Damn it! Stop doing that! <laughs> the electric shoes are so annoying at the start of this game. You only have three hearts, so yes. I would say so. Wait, what are you green things? Are you leaves? Why are you so flat? I forgot what those are. I mean, no, they are, I know they are like the round blobby things from... They they look flat in this game. Boomerang Bros. Maybe. A boomerang, know how to throw it? First step the item uh yep, yeah, okay. Just draw a line. Oh that's fun. Yeah, I know. Ah. One of my favorite items. Whoosh. They're just called gels. Oh. Apply the gel. <laughs> yep, and here's probably one of the best instances of the boomerang in the game. Because in, in any you know, Zelda game. Because you know you can use it like Ah Oh no. Stop doing that. How far can the boomerang go? Just don't don't Stop it. Stop it. This Stop it. is on fire. Oh, jeez. Okay, I will admit that took me a little bit too long, but it's just... Come on. Eh, you're getting used to the controls. Fire. Fair. What was my... What was my accent there? Where are you from again? <laughs> I'm from the north. I'm from the north. So every planet has a north. Well, well, I mean, yeah. There are no treasure chests on this floor. Um, thank you. That's a very helpful. Question mark. Those actually do become kind of a hint system with other dungeons, and well, you have more complicated dungeons where you might miss a chest, or there are optional chests. Yes. Everybody knows this puzzle because it showed up in a trailer. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thankfully, Stop even it. though you can't launch the boomerang through things, they have an easy time coming back to you through things. They, it has an easy time coming back to you through things. Shenanigans. The boomerang is non-binary now. <laughs> Meet the Bubbles! Bubbles? Yep, that's the name of the skull enemies. I remember them, yes. Well, despite everything, I'm not done here yet. That's a shortcut now. In case of death, press switch. Oh, oh no. 
Oh no, 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 oh no. Oh jeez. Wait, oink. Wait, oink, the number of treasure chests he left here is one. It'll cost you 20 rupees to see where the treasure lies. No, thanks. That's your loss. Is this loss? Good luck. Okay. I hate you. Damn it. There. Well, that's the usefulness of the boomerang. <laughs> it's meant. <laughs> it's it's bound to hit something if you keep scribbling. <laughs> yeah. Kind of the downside with how they designed it, but I I think I'd rather take that downside for just how cool it can actually be when they call it on, on it for puzzles in this game. Hmm. No, I like it. I like it. Yep. I love how these uh, flames are just rotating around nothing. Oh, that's how you get the chest. Red Ruby, yeah. At least, at least those things in Mario have like a, an origin block. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. It's me, daddy. Yes, son. Oh my. Oh boy, there's there's chat. Let me see that. Uh, Chip wrote S M R T W S L Smart Weasel. Chip says there's Zoles. Zoles, yeah, those things. Coldust says I usually see them as bouncing watermelons, the f green flat things. Kormor says is the gel apple flavored? Is it? Um, Strybeck says non binary ang. Non binary ang. Ah. Kurumar says Ganon Binary. Where are we going here? <laughs> Hood says, wait, what happened? I was dealing with an ant invasion in my kitchen. You too? Oh, Gosh. I've had that. I have I'm having that too. I hate it. I have ants in the okay, I have ants in the um in the backyard. I have ants at my office. I have ants in my dreams. Oh no. It's horrible. Um who says there's a non binary boomerang in this game? Am I in this game? <laughs> no, you're not. Kurumar says these flames are trying to be like Mario, but Mario has a connector. Yeah, that's what he said. Who says, oh yeah, I saw your tweet. And Chip said, ants. Ants. Ant man. Open. Oh, oh, wait, I don't have the key yet. Where am I? Oh. Oh, that's where I am. <laughs> Why, why did I come here then? You were exploring. <laughs> it's fine. Thanks for not stopping me. Uh. Yeah. So I opened the door. I yeah, and I just went. <laughs> Let's go to the end. <laughs> yeah. I'm. I might try and like guide you a little bit more if you're clearly going another way and it's gonna take forever and meander. But just you know, that was like what? A minute. Whatever. Come out. Did it automatically collide with the wall there? There we go. It's it's just bad timing. This key looked kind of pink. It's just the lighting in this place. 
Ah! Link has more pained screams in this game than in Wind Waker. I think they lifted most of them from Wind Waker 2. There's a Wind Waker 2? <laughs> no. Oh. Well, this is this is effectively Wind Waker 2. But there's no Wind Waker. Well, just wait for just wait for the bacteria in your gut to do their job and you'll have some wind. Hold on, I was trying to be clever. I couldn't think of anything. You win this round. <laughs> Yay! Hood says, you know what the weird part is, though? They go to a specific spot in the kitchen and just die there? Oh. I guess... They might lose... You go. They might be losing the pheromone trail then and can't get back. And like, guess I'll die. They literally are the meme, guess I'll die. <laughs> no. Kuromaru says ants are waging war against us. They are more aggressive this year. I don't know why. Everywhere. Hood says, wait, in your dreams? That's a war we can't win. Yesterday I had a, a dream where I was in an overcrowded flight. And there were ants. So, yeah. Hood says, mijo, deja de molestar y ve a ver si ya se despertó el viento. Hood says, oh, that's a good explanation. I can't, I can't share what happened in my last stream. What? Not on Twitch. Did you fart? No, I can't share what happened in my last stream. Oh. Rub, rub, rub. Okay, I'm rubbing. Nice. What? My, 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 I have, I have weak lungs. No, no, what you said earlier. <laughs> okay. Hmm, these things are clearly hit in a specific order. I wonder what that order is. Let's go check the identical room on the other side. Oh, oh boy. Whoa! Or here. Because you can flip the order. Hmm. I'm using this game's functions. I know! It is, it is actually really cool how they make full use of the drawing on the touch screen. Well, yeah. Who made this game? Uh. Who was the, like, producer or whoever was in charge of? The. Let me check. Checko. The producer was A.G. Aonuma. Okay, this is a good Aonuma game. Zelda Aonuma game, which is... I can't say that very often, but... I can't wait to get your hate, people. I mean... I mean, to a point, it's just like... There's a lot of stuff to criticize about his design about his design for a while, so it's not like you have unfounded criticisms. <laughs> but I can't, I'm like, I'm like, do I, do I, ha is, is this opinion earned, considering I'm not really a fan of the series? I think there's kind of a little bit of a debate on whether or not that would be a good merit for its quality when there's a bias, but all the same, it's not unfair to just say you don't like a lot of his work. Additionally, it's not like I don't like it, but, uh, a friend of mine made some really good points, and then his opinions became mine. And, yeah. mm. For a while, and then I played the games, and I was like, mm. well, considering the kind of games I like, the kind of, of Zelda games I like, I'm like, okay, I see it. Uh, yes, who, uh, Alnuma was the producer for this one. The director, director of Phantom Hourglass was Daiki Iwamoto. Never heard of the guy. Um, what does the director does versus a producer? Uh, I guess that's gonna change in the particulars because this is about a decade ago over at Nintendo, which I think the 
I think the specific branch used to develop Phantom Hourglass has been dissolved. So. Oof. I was studying um, Nintendo branches earlier today because we were Art. trying to check who made the who made the uh, uh, Metroid Fusion. Turns out it well, it's a it's a defunct branch that got merged into the WarioWare slash Rhythm Heaven branch. Ah, here it is. Uh, the original develop development team was the. Nintendo EAD team, Entertainment and Analysis and Development team, but they have recent, but they got uh, absor absorbed into another another branch following the death of Satoru Iwata. Oh yeah, the, the re restructuring. Oh boy. Hood says, "Oh no." Kuromaru says, "I mean, we did have an official word in 2016 about Wind Waker to cancel, so this is definitely the sequel." Kromor says, despite this coming out well before then, with an emote. Hood says, I made this game. Sli smiley face. <laughs> Hood says, ha 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 ha, what? Hood says, come on, you haven't even played the Aonuma game. And Hood says, also he was a producer, not director, right? And Hood said, yes, I see. Wow, I see. Yes. Then I'm just shit posting here. Boyoing, the number treasure chest left here is one. Because you know, stop it. Whoa, what is this? Looks so ominous. Hmm, I wonder if that's a, that's a pause door. Oh, yeah, these things. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, no. Rule number one, do not crash it on doors. I mean, don't, on, 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 not on doors, on. Don't crash it on walls. Damn it. So, checking it over, it seems as though directors for video games typically end up being designers who end up, who end up in charge of multiple projects or lead up larger projects. And Are producers you? hand head up the legality part, part of it, as well as stuff like localization. I used to think the producers were like the ones that did most, not executive producers, but producers. That did a bunch of stuff, that's what I thought. Yep. And it it's gonna vary a lot depending on the particular company or branch, so this isn't a definitive one <laughs> list of what they do, but. Oh no. When all three torches are lit, the path will be revealed. Lit. Link, you your, say your this boomerang is... is on fire. Guess you can say this is a very lit boomerang. Ah! I just threw myself into the lava because of that. I love you too. Yes, I am very smart. Let's take the most roundabout way of doing that. Roundabout, speaking of roundabout, speaking of roundabouts. Ah! At least... At least these things are guaranteed to have something in them. Boss key, it's a huge heavy key. Oh they my gosh, it really is huge and heavy. They changed how the boss keys work. They're no oh longer just my you have. Goodness. You now have to protect the boss key on the way to the dungeon door, the boss oh. door. <laughs> yep, you can imagine how good this is going to get later on. Ah, uh, stick it in there. 
Wait, there's still a chest here. Wait, no, that's this. That was the chest. Yep. Boyo Inky. Boyo Inky, there's no. Okay, thanks. That counts. It's good to know. 4F. Um, Hood said, so ominous must be the door to Rick's room, which, as we all know, needs a boss key to open. My room? You know what we, you will find in my doorknob? On my no doorknob? A raccoon tail. That's what's on my on my on my um door. Yeah. Chip says unless your game is being produced by Shigeru Miyamoto, then the director is just a vessel to carry out Miyamoto's questionable design choices. <laughs> Oof. It's true though. Uh Hood says I love Link Stream as he burns in the lava. You know, that needed a, an, a heart eyes emoji. Hood says, this is entirely true, mostly, yeah. Zachary the Hawk, hello. It's been I a while. He says, forgive me for saying this, but Spirit Tracks is better. Oh, you're fine. I'm pre it has quality of life improvements. I'm just playing this because I wanted to play it. Hood says, can we get an F in chat? Maybe four of them. <laughs> Chip says, Norami's tail. It it reminds me that I have Norami's ass at my beck and call. Whoops. Who says lol nice? What is this? The temple protects the spirit of power. The Triforce? Step into the blue light to return to the temple's entrance. Oh, yep. You unlock this these things by talking to the slabs. Okay. I can feel an evil presence lingering at the top of the stairs. Be careful, okay, Link? Did I save? How do you save with this game? I oh, save. Yep. Uh, does it automatically save? No, there is no automatic saving. Oh my goodness. Oh. However, there are checkpoints if you die. So as long as you're not just turning the game off every time, you'll reload, re you'll reload kind of close to where you were. That was kind of scary. I mean, what if my power goes out? <laughs> on the D. Well, on the Wii U. It... Yeah, I mean, that should have a bit of a battery charge, and it holds you for at least four-ish hours. No, Wii U, not Switch. I've always had my Wii U just hold out for like four. Uh, well, the pad at least. Well, of course the pad, but not the game, which is in the console that needs wall power. Hmm. Well, here's the thing. I love that the Switch is like essentially um, um, power outage proof. Because if power goes out, it just switches to battery. So that's great about that. Now I just need to get a surge protector so it's surge proof too. Well, not gonna happen here. Then my, my, my power outlets are not grounded even. Oh no. Yeah, this house is like from last millennium. Uh, Hood says, lol, nice. So, yeah, I was going to mention that. Don't you prefer manual saves, pal? Well, I've gotten used to auto saves a little. At least it's a couple of quick button presses. Oh no, what is this thing? It's a boss. It's a boss. An entirely touch based boss. Okay, what's happening here? I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a solid minute solid minute before I intervene. Well, I think it was the right thing. Yep. That was the right thing. them together though like blue do you want me to say do you want me to say it nope 
not blowing. Wait, wait. There's clearly something that sticks them. Oh, shoot. Nope. Wait. Uh... Oh, there we go. Damn it. So there are boxes nearby, so if you hear screaming. Thank you, boxes. Kind of. Wait, I'm still not sure. I need them to get closer. I see it now. I don't see it. No, wait, no, 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 hold on. Don't say anything. So what was it? On the top screen, the map, the three different icons were different. One had one horn, another had two horns, and another had three horns. I was not looking at the top! <laughs> yep. It's so there small. Was Yep, there was literally a counter for which ones you had to you had to boomerang in the order. I did not see. So I just completely got them at random. Yes. I was like, no, I noticed that they moved differently. So I was like, they there's an order to these, but I tried different orders depending on how they moved, and I couldn't get it until I get it at random. I guess maybe. Well, now you know. Well, now you know the the real order. Cool. I'll do it next time I do this. Laugh track. Evil fairy? Red fairy? I am Leaf, spirit of power. I serve the Ocean King. There's... Okay. You are Leaf, but you're red. And you serve the Ocean... Oh, okay. Sure. I owe you thanks for defeating that evil wizard. You broke the seal, so now I'm free. Look, Link! It's the spirit of power, leave! This must be what Astrid was talking about. Please help us, we need your strength. I was locked away with the Ocean King years ago, but now I can't feel the Ocean King's presence. I wonder what happened to him. If I come with you, maybe I can find out. If you need it, I'll gladly lend a hand. Yay! Spirit of Power Leaf has joined your group. You should go tell Astrid. Astrid, holy fuck! Ooh. Um, Zachary said, and speaking of spirit tracks and fire, I'm in the fire realm, and no joke, at one point I could never get past the Tower Spirit Fort visit. Travis says, oh, I see it. And Chip said, no spoilers, Zachary. And Zachary says, at Chip, I didn't say a single thing. Hood says, I see the thing now, that's sneaky. Chip says, no spoilers, Zachary. And Hood says, Rick still beat it, nice. Shrebex says, I guess Kaya was wrong, a brute force did get you somewhere. <laughs> um, 
Sakura said that Chip, I didn't spoil a single thing the entire fight. Strybeck says, fun fact, Leaf is one of two male fairies in the whole series. Really? Yep. I mean, I couldn't even tell, so for what for yeah. what it's worth. They're still just as androgynous, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, Hood says, look at this literal child being happy. Look at, how dare this child be happy. Okay, what's it? Oh. Huh, you put it in a... This, 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 this is, this game is nice. It puts it away in a chest instead of just dropping it on the floor and then it just gets lint on it. And like, dust. Yep. This is also the first Zelda game without heart pieces. There are only heart containers. That makes things more straightforward. I like that. Ascend, Link. But then just go away. Now I want to play this game too. The volcano has stopped erupting, Link. I bet it's because you defeated all the monsters, Link. Come on, let's say Astrid, Link. I'm gonna keep saying Link. Link. Wake up, Link. Oh no, the TikToks. <laughs> Astrid, holy fuck! Oh, wait, you no. know, I, I kind of want, yes. I kind of want someone to shout, "It's Link!" and then they just point at a URL. Yes. Oh, there's a there's a very 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 old meme. So old that it just shows on the it just shows on the the way the browser looks. Oh jeez. Ah, uh, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. I need to find a good quality one. Gosh, yes, this is so old. But it's it's an oldie but a goodie. <laughs> Send <Send-link. laughs> <laughs> That is also a very, very old browser window. Yeah, that's that's why like it shows its age. It's old Firefox. It's super old Firefox. Wow. Um, who says, damn it, the three heart run is dead now. I mean, you can choose not to open the chest. Wait, yep. but I'm not the doing that. I didn't do that. Who yep. do you think the I only am? game? The only game where you actually cannot do a three heart run is A Link to the Past. Huh. Shrevik says, first since A Link to the Past, you mean? And Hood said, S Link Ascend. And Chip says, Drink Link. And Hood says, Got Milk, milk Link. And Shrevik, what is that email? Ha. Huh. It is. It's from Mike. Mike Feedback. Hood says, a link to the links links us all, links together, link the fire. And Chip said, pfft. And Hood said, lol. Hood said, mwahahaha.com. That's, it's Ghana's link, um, um, website. He got it when the dot com boom made it cheap to buy domains. Yep, dot com bubble. Oh man, remember that? Work offline. Ah. Uh, uh -huh. Oh my goodness, I used to I save, the, uh, like, pages for later. I was a bit too young for the dot .com, bu dot .com bubble and all that, but I do know, as, a, as someone who got a software degree, I am very much aware of it. I love how the last option of this menu is just exist. <laughs> exist. Wow. Deep. But yeah, work offline was an option in browsers, so you could save a page to your cache and just keep it there, and like you could open it as many times as you wanted because it was saved on your actual computer. Back when the internet was limited, and you were like, okay, I'm just gonna be on the internet a little bit and disconnect so they can use the phone line so I can read this offline. Yep. Mm -hmm. Zachary says, nah, the only game where a, hard, a three hard run is not a thing is Skyward Sword. Okay, I will I will correct myself there. You can't do a three heart run of Skyward Sword, obviously. But in a link to the past, 
you legitimately cannot pick up the plot required dungeon item until you pick up the heart container. You can't do a three heart run in that game. Wow. Who says, give me a sec, I'm gonna work offline. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that anymore. Let's watch the stream offline. Remember kids to download my streams. <laughs> this, this week's streams are gonna be up there. Oh boy, imagine that. Hey kids, so you were able to defeat all the monsters? Well, Astrid is waiting. Well done, you defeated the power of darkness, Link. Thus you have broken the seal that imprisoned the spirit you need to move ahead. Ultimately, you will need three spirits, power, wisdom, and courage. Hmm. I wonder what those are referencing. When you have all three, you will possess the power to find the ghost ship. Now two spirits remain, but their locations are veiled to me at present. I see another clue for you. You find it in the temple of the Ocean King on Murky. And to further your efforts, I give you this. May it help you in battle. Ooh, a power gem. Where have I seen this before? Hmm. You saw it in the shop over in Murky. I know. I rate its oh. power, but you can't use it like this. Story on the collection screen for now. Oh, you weren't. You were being sarcastic. I Shit. was being facetious, which is a word that somebody taught me, and I was like, "Oh, okay, it's not the same as fascist." <laughs> That's a spirit <laughs> gem. There are as many as for each spirit. Find as many as you can. Collect them all. I see that somewhere on the seas, you can raise the spirit's power for ten gems. The light that seeks your Aid grows weaker still. There's no time to lose. You actually did it. Now we're even closer to getting the rich link. Oh, I'm excited. Ah, uh, he's so self-centered. Well, I sense that man will prove to be an asset and not an anchor in time. I hope you're right. We're gonna use him. Okay, let's quickly set sail back to Murky Island, Link. Well, he's using us, so... Also, also, um, I was gonna say something. Oh, are those things like this game's, um, my guffins? Well, uh, do you want? Many. Do you want me to kind of explain what they are now? Then. No, I think I can handle it for later. Okay, I'll just wait till it's relevant. It will be relevant. Yeah. All right. So, anything else uh, here? There are various ru red rupees hidden around, and there's a lot of just small treasures you can get, get, but otherwise there's nothing too integral. No major side quests, nothing absolutely critical that you couldn't otherwise do. So, you can head straight to the next plot point if you so desire, but if you want a little more money, just run around and bump into some trees. Yay, trees! Yay, trees. I think it's... Why would this couple... game hide, like, red rupees after you do just something? To, just to... I guess just to reward you. I think you can Ow. technically get them beforehand, but there literally is pretty much... There's literally nothing to buy until... I think... Actually, there's really nothing to buy at all at this point, even with all the money. So... Yeah... It's... It's kind of just a, you can do it now if you feel like, but it's not like it really does anything until later. And even then, it's ru rupees. You can get them other in other locations, too. Wait, so th these rupees are like... They, they're they just like one-time things? Uh, from trees, I believe anything like red or giant rupees are one-time. But things like blue or green, if you reload the room, I believe they what? can appear again. Right. How weird. Oh, boobies. <laughs> That's yours. If the crow hits you, they, they knock a rupee out of you. Oh. Well, that one was from the tree, I think. The red one was from the tree. Okay. Okay, that's two. Uh, 
Yeah. That and chest. You... That chest. Ah. You can't get that chest for a while. Okay. Let's make a mark of it. Hey, because I can do that here. Yay! I wish other games had this feature. I mean, they kind of do in Skyward Sword with the beacons, but those are very generic and indiscriminate. Yeah. Gosh, that's so bad. Well, I mean, it's better than nothing. Well, yeah. I did like um, Breath of the Wild beacons more. Yeah, they 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 definitely learned after Skyward Sword just. Maybe offering a few more beacon options would be a good good idea. Mm -hmm. No more rupees. Yep. Uh, I'm going to double check the guide here, but I think I got that two. was all. Yeah, then you got all the red rupees on the island at the moment. So Yay. There is literally nothing left for you to do on here. Oh, well. Wait, how do you... Oh, no, never mind. Hold on. Yeah. I was checking, like, what's up with this place? But, no, I've been here before, and then... This door that, for some reason, just closes back down, despite me having been here before. Yeah, like, the, some why? doors reset whenever you leave the area, and it's kind of weird. Link. And I got Although that chest. We... Cool. Although, weirdly, no houses seem to have doors, so, hey, anyone's wel everyone's welcome. Yeah. Oh boy, hold on. Who says mod the stream of flying? And who said what? I love the context for that. Ship says, time Thank for you. the game's main gimmick, returning to the Temple of Ocean King after every dungeon. Well, it's not there... the only Zelda that does that, so I'm not going to fault it for that. And also, there is kind of an exception that you can make to that, but we'll get there when we get there. Um, who'd, who'd, <laughs> who'd clip my facetious thing? Okay, wow. You, you, I'm, go I'm gonna get cancelled. Big Fluffy did um, an arrow to the right, an arrow to the left. Big Fluffy says Japanese English accent is the best accent, not gonna lie. I always read that in Rudy's voice because he just says it so much. Um, Big Fluffy says, probably tops out British and French accent. Wow. We're not gonna... I feel like if we start... If we start doing a tier list of accents, we're gonna end up with a race war. <laughs> What's taking so long? I was about to leave you here, Link. What, Lineback? What are you going on about? You're gonna fight? I suspect that we're hot on the trail of untold wealth. Don't you suspect that the light that needs finding... Is really a shiny treasure? I really don't think so. Anyway, let's get back to Murky Island. Yes! Hmm, haven't forgotten anything, have you? Okay, let's be off. Yay! Okay, let's just draw... This map changed. Where did, this... Where did Beetle go? Oh, yeah. If you... This is something that occurs, like, if you go onto the sea at a certain period of time, or I think after, like, game, game time, Beetle's ship is replaced by the Mystery Man ship, which is kind of similar to what it was in Wind Waker, except it's not tile-based this time. He, the mystery, the quote-unquote Mystery Man, is going to sell you phenomenally great stuff at, ex it's like, absurdly high prices. I have, I have two hundred rupees. Nope, that's probably not enough. Uh, try about five thousand. Ah, well, uh, the, finally a game where I can just horridly um, hoard rupees, and it's actually worth something. Yeah, I may be overshooting a little bit, but I remember it being like insanely expensive. The economy of this game is so far better than in the others. <laughs> I mean. I'd rather take a ton of rupee. Well, the only other game to actually make full viable use of your rupees has been Skyward Sword. Yeah, yeah, that too. Uh, although I do ha hate the problem of money for nothing, and also getting too many rupees too early and having them fall off the, the wallet. Yeah, 
it kind of you phantom hourglass is probably the best at handling the money though that said usually it does kind of get to be a little tedious getting all of it oh boy well i'm gonna need those red rup red rupee drops then yeah that's that's kind of why I was pointing to you so hard with the rupees in this game because I'm just like, yeah, if you're if you're gonna bot, try and get a lot of the high grade stuff or try and get our containers, just let's get let's get that money now. <laughs> yes, sir. Who says hashtag problematic, Rick? Uh, that will be a thing. Who says what the fuck? Big Clue says, but I will digress so that we don't speak that side of the path. Who says, why is the stream full of out of context material? Because I bait you into clipping it. So you will share it and I'll get popular. And then cancelled, but still popular. Big Flu says, I'd like to sit, Earth Blaster. <laughs> Big Flu says, why did I just send that? I forgot I can't delete messages for my life. Too bad, it's on the stream and now I said it, it's on my stream forever. Too bad. Who says, I feel used. Like a tissue. Uh, for reference, actually, wait. I should probably just let you discover it then, if you want. If you want to. Discover me. Oh, Chip says or a condom. There we go. I didn't want to go there, but you went there. Therefore, I have to say it. I. F uh. <laughs> Let's uh, let's be careful dancing on that line on the TOS line here. Oh shit, shiny, shiny frog. You can't do anything with it right now. Yeah, I know. I pressed again. I pressed DR with my foot. I do that. Cause I'm sitting cross-legged. Yay, Mercury Island. The big fool says, "Fine, I'll just say this. If you say those two phrases in a Japanese English accent, it'll sound funny." I like to sit though. Okay. Air blaster. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. I... Oh, yes. Okay, so I double checked because I didn't want to give you bad info. I totally overshot the rupee count. So, in total, this game does actually price things a little bit higher, so it does make you actually use your rupees a bit, so there's that. But I I completely overshot how much how much money you need. I kind of combined it all. In reality, a lot of it is all priced lower. I lumped it all together in my head. Yay! Hood says... Rick says Hood is the best and says that Hood says that Rick is awesome while also saying Rick says I'm a little teapot. I think the format tells you how that works. Chip says Asuburasta. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm not the best at making a fake accent. Yay, where am I? What is this? You're at the port and... Uh, oh, he's hot. They opened, I mean, they opened yeah, up the shipyard. Chest. You got the rock wheel ship part. Oh no. You are allowed to customize your ship now. Well, that's nice. Come on in. You yep. found yourself in the shipyard. Want to customize your ship? You've got that part, so I got the time. Yay. I'm pretty sure every kid just did this one. And that's it. Uh, actually, there are a, a few different things. There are several different sets for the ship that you can make, and they provide benef benefits, namely more health for the ship. Oh boy, I must find them all. Gotta collect them all. We're going for a hundred runs, so yeah. If you want to get them all, then, uh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Are they random? A lot of them are. Well, here's the thing. This game has safe states. Yep, 
your stamina will go up if you use part of the same set. Chip says, I studied Japanese for four years, so I have a good grasp on transliterating phrases into Japanese. Chip says, that guy is just an inboard mechanic. Oh, that's why I like him. Big Flu says, I'm assuming upgrading the ship is a feature in this game. It's a feature. It's a feature. It's less of a feature and becomes more coincidence, really. Because you just swap out parts and it just ends up being better. If you want strict upgrading, well, Skyward Sword did that better. What did I upgrade in Skyward Sword? I totally blanked. I'm sorry. There's like, there's never been that much customization in Zelda games. Yep. Aside from like Breath of the Wild. Yeah, they... It was less about customization and more just a, ooh, do you want better shiny? <laughs> Until then. I do want better shiny. Hey, wait, uh... wait. Oh. If you push yourself that hard from the beginning, you won't last. Please, don't say that to a kid. Please. I understand wanting to hurry, but don't waste your energy. Don't forget that this church temple can suck the life out of you. The suck! I know we have to search for clues to find the spirits, but we need some kind of strategy. Just don't end up like this. Hey, you know, um... I mean, if you say you want to go it alone, then who am I to stop you? What? You're trying to pull all the work on Link again? But if you know it's dangerous, shouldn't you be helping too? What? Well, yeah, kid. The temple is a little dangerous. Not a place for uh, kids. If you go in, well, you might not make it very far. I have no idea who's talking right now. Eh? It's kind of hard in this game, I'm going to say. Uh, I'm no, just advance the text. You'll see who it is. That's not exactly true. What? Oh, you? Yeah. I wish they had like the little tails that point at somebody. Yeah, they didn't really do that until Skyward Sword. Grandpa, I'm impressed you managed to free the spirit of power. You're strong. Even if you follow the ghost ship, you'll be fine. Link, get up on that altar. I've been there before. What's so different this time? Hmm. Now the plot demands it. <laughs> Yay! I wonder what this is. Oh no! It won it's in my eyes! <laughs> now Link take the hourglass, I can't see. <laughs> it just exploded sand everywhere. You would think Link would have issues with getting sand on his gigantic eyes. You got the Phantom Ore Glass, roll credits! Title drop. It's a mysterious hourglass filled with golden sand. I have actually never seen anybody make a prop of the Phantom Hourglass. Hour. Or. Hour. You know how the legendary Phantom Hourglass link. As long as you carry it, this temple cannot drain the life from you. Woohoo! As long as we have this, we can search for clues for the spirit. Um. <clears throat> however... You are only safe as long as sand remains in the top of the phantom hourglass. When all the sand has drained to the bottom, your life too will be drained. It's an hourglass, can't you just flip it over again? No, once the sand of hours has drained, its, its power is lost. It needs the light of the sun to restore its mystical power. Ah, I get it. So we have to go outside the temple again. The sand inside the phantom hourglass is called the sand of hours. Wow. The beast you defeated in the Temple of Fire held some grains of it. It is said to be made of force gems of the great spirit, the Ocean King. 
It gives it. Yeah, it gives strength to whoever holds its power. From now on, you must defeat monsters and collect their sand of hours. The more sand you can place in the hourglass, the longer its power will last. The sea chart we found in the in this temple showed where to find the capture spirit. If that's the case, then location of the other two spirits. Hmm. I bet there's another clue hidden somewhere in this temple. I just know it. I won't stop you, Link. Dive deeper into this mystery, but keep the phantom hourglass in hand. Remember how Astrid was saying that the sacred light was fading? We got to hurry, Link. So how do you know so much, old man? Hmm. That long story is not yet ready to surface, but it all will come in time. For now, you must find the ghost ship. That's right, a mountain of treasure awaits, ready to leap into my pockets. Hop to it, Link. Put some steam in your engines and get exploring this temple, kid. Wow. But I'm not playing Oxygen Not Included. There's no steam engine here. <sighs> Ten minutes. No! Yep. <laughs> I remember this. I hate it. Um. Yeah. Let me I will it. say... Yes. Oh, sorry. No, I will safe. say, coming back to this, I think people tend to overstate how how much they reuse the Temple of the Ocean King. Yes, you do go through a lot of the same stuff before, but there are several things about each run that they do to kind of improve upon it. Yay. That means nothing to me yet. Oh yeah, it, it's not going to mean anything for a little bit. And I'm saying this right now as a moment, as something that'll click later. Oh yeah, absolutely. Hood says, have they said anything about closing the Wii U shop or something? I'm sorry to think I should buy all the Nintendo DS games in there. I think it still has, my prediction is it still has around three to four years in it. But don't, don't, don't. Don't take it too easy. Start buying games. Um, Big Fluffy says the only Zelda game I know that can vary conditions of vehicles or any form of transportation is Breath of the Wild. Can you um, customize the train and spirit tracks? Yes. That one too then. Chip says don't forget to save. Oh, thanks for. I'm gonna need reminders of that. Shrubic says it's the ghostly egg timer. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you can you call know. it. You know, yes. it feels kind of funny now that we th now that I think about it. It has now been about two. It has now been just over two years since I met you, and we met when you were playing Wind Waker, and this is the sequel to Wind. Wa this is effectively the sequel to Wind Waker, and I actually finally started spending time here when you started playing Breath of the Wild. So it just seems like Zelda is how we. It's just iron. What do you call it? Glue? It is a glue, yes. But specific Zelda games. Yeah. With like, it's Zelda is our glue and then an asterisk. Restrictions, re uh, restrictions may apply. I mean, well, they can't all be. They can't all have the precious memories attached to it. Oh, precious memories. But I did want to share this one with you because you did say that it was a thing for you. And I won't call this my favorite, but it was my first, and that always is going to be something in special in my heart. Also, my gosh, am I having? I'm I'm having such a great time here. I'm happy. I really wanted to make this a good time for you too. Hi, it is. Chip says the spectral timepiece. We're gonna find more names for this thing, aren't we? The big fluffy says, ooh, the key item we get team here is already better than the classic one. Uh, who says, you know, Link, you truly are a the Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass for the Nintendo DS. <laughs> yeah, there, I believe in the Japanese version it was called The Legend of Zelda Hourglass of Dreams. Dreams? What's dreamy about this? It's just nightmares. It's death. We'll cover that. <laughs> Big Fluffy says, I mean, the main one. Uh, Chip link the tweet. What's this? It's... Oh, they did make a Phantom Hourglass. 
It's exactly what you were wanting. I want that. Okay, generally because I like hourglasses. Like, I, I would say I collect them, but I literally only have one. Um, here's the thing. I only have one because I have never seen any on sale anywhere. Like, nobody sells them. People usually don't put hourglasses on sale. Well, to the stores I've gone to, like, first of all, furry cons. In furry cons, there's, like, people that sell, like, weird trinkets that are, like, not really furry, but just there. I've never seen an hourglass. Um, also, I don't mean egg timers either. Like, those are just modern hourglasses. Um, I mean, like, fancy, pretty ones. I've gone to dragon stores. Also, I realized not many people know what a dragon store means. Um, have you ever seen a store that sells these things? Fantasy swords. Um, medieval clothing. Knives. Replica swords from games and such. Statues of dragons, fairies, or similar things. And kilts. If you have said yes to one of these questions, or probably two, that is a dragon shop. Um, yeah, I've been to those. I haven't seen a, an hourglass. I would think I would find one there, but nope. Um, let's see. Um, who said cool at that tweet and? Who said, okay, cool, yeah, I'll buy most of them ASAP. Who says, let's see how far we come, like this song. Who said, do I have three hearts? And who says, ah, you're so cute. Bigfoot says, wait, isn't the time ticking? Nope, I'm still in the area, in the safe zone. And Stripe comments. Stripe X says, not in the safe zone. And Bigfoot says, oh. And Hood says, yeah, all the time, we're all headed towards death with every second of our lives. Ah. <laughs> I mean, I did have one moment of dark humor on my birthday where I said, Yay! One less year to live! <laughs> Chip says, Old Mother Earth, you're so good to see. And Old Father Time, he's waiting for me. Big Fluffy says, Oh yeah, I can tell because the floor is animated and pretty hypnotic. Not gonna lie. I keep saying it like Rudy says it. <laughs> Hood says hypnotic. Oh, whoa. Oh, my gosh. I guess you could say it's become rather hypnotic for you. Deflected. <laughs> Rujito says, how about our candles? Rujito, you're alive. Um, Strybeck says, oh, shit. I just noticed the hourglass pattern in the walls. Wow. You sure do notice more things when you look at them closer. After, after hearing about Z Zeno... Zeno gears. I can't help but hear Ruby Doe whenever I see hear Ruby Doe. Mm -hmm. I have just decided to call him Rugido, even though it's not a it, like nobody knows. Nobody knows how that name is supposed to, and that he's never corrected me. Therefore, I keep doing it. <laughs> Shrevex says, oh shit, no, wait, I read, read that. Hood says, that's why every video game ever has a time mechanic. We are counting the time to go. Big Fluffy says, floor has pretty colors. Link, look at the upper left corner of the top screen. This is how long the Phantom Hourglass will protect you from the curse. Find the next clue to the ghost ship before the sand runs out, then escape. That's it, without the sand, it will start to suck the life out of you. Remember to keep an eye on the time you got left. Okay, now my screams are warranted. This is the door of power. Use my strength to open it. Tap the door and let's go even deeper into the temple. Okay, it's just like... Ah! 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 Get to the chopper! Now! Now! <laughs> we have 9 minutes and 58 seconds. I have actually made entire goal runs where I just lose as little time as possible. I've still I've gotten to the door of power with only like half a second off. I mean, this is a game with this built-in speed run timer. <laughs> okay, this is you very see. scary. Get ready. Wait, 
No, I'm I'm starting to get memories. Is this? This is where they appear. No. This is their origin. No. The oh, phantom. No! <laughs> wow, I said that just as Chips typed it. Kut says, that reminds me that I lost a damn good Hypno story that involved a screen with colors. I should have said with damn it. If you want to find Hypno stories, the furries have a ton of them. Just look up in for a 50. My gosh, there's so many. Chip says, the phantoms. Virginia says, technically it's supposed to be the G in gray, though only after hearing others say my name that I realize in English the G could be pronounced the other way. It still sounds fine, so eh. Also, the big floofy said, floor has pretty colors. Or it does have pretty colors. Who says, there it is. Here they come. Hello, phantoms. Welcome. Um, first of all, why are we... Why are we standing outside the safe zone and talking? Don't worry. You have cutscene power. You're cut safe. Cutscene power. Don't remind me. In Skyward Sword, uh, a cutscene power actually saved the... The freaking imprisoned. Like I actually got cut off by cutting power. Oh, he ver he hit the very top right at the end. He weaponized it. Um, oh, that's so annoying. Oh, I've had that happen. I don't think anybody ever clipped that. It happened in a in a stream, and nobody clipped it. And I'm sad. Uh, I mean, I you can do. You can actually make clips on YouTube videos now. So when well, you upload that, apparently it's in only like popular channels or something ah uh, right uh, I, of course they, they are they, they are really instagramming it um who says hmm, I'll try my luck there but that what that one was not a furry one from what I remember and who says fucking imprisoned uh big who says at who remind me of here comes the boy hello boy welcome there he is he is here who says, yes, that's what I tried to reference, but I couldn't remember the actual words, so I tried to adapt it to this. Shrek says, quick, time to make Rick's YouTube popular. I wish, but my YouTube channel is just an archival for my streams. It's not that interesting. Although, there's a few old streams that have gained some weird attention. Namely, my Cooking Mama and Gardening Mama streams, for whatever reason. Probably because of the scandal with the Switch switch one. Oh my gosh that was a good one cheap apparently keeps re-watching my my switch version my switch cooking mama um streams because apparently they were fucking hilarious especially when i discovered that you could do the horrible um uh like flaming hot cheetos um <laughs> fried chicken <laughs> and it was so cursed who says i've used a bit and Chip says, plus Deep Labyrinth. Right. Oh. Some person actually jumped at me and said, you have the only complete playthrough of Deep Labyrinth. Thank you for that. Ah, oh. oh, I, f I wish. I wish I didn't have school when you were playing that. I wanted to see all that, and I didn't. Oh, I'm oh, I'm sorry. It's, uh, yes. And actually, I did it in two parts. The first part I did, like, a while ago, and then I did the, the second part, like, I think last year. And Hood says, there's a Cooking Mama Switch version in Walmart to go for groceries. And Hood says, wow, Rick, congratulations. For what? For having the first complete playthrough of uh, an obscure DS game that nobody remembers anymore? Hood says, that's I mean, huge for archival and preservation purposes. I guess. I guess. Yeah, it's true. Hey, it's an enemy. You know what to do. Wait, Link. The evil that cursed this temple made these monsters. Phantoms are very dangerous enemies. Oh no, now there's two of them. They're almost nearly impenetrable and they strike very hard. Does that mean you can't defeat them? There has to be a way. Well, all you can do is sneak by the phantoms so they don't see you. You can watch their movements on your map. This is where the phantoms are. The cone shows where they are looking. So we have to sneak around like thieves, eh? What if we're seen? If they see you... Run straight for a safe zone. By safe zone, do you mean those purple spaces on the ground? Oh yeah, the sand stopped moving in the hourglass when we were in one. 
That's right, those purple tiles on the floor are safe zones. This temple curse makes it a dangerous place, but it's not all that bad. Those safe zones remain as places that evil can get to. Okay, so if a phantom spots you, just run to a safe zone. That's easy. Right, Link? Uh, yes. Let's go, Link. Don't let a phantom see you. Oh, by the way, you're outside of the... Ah! Ick, you've been spotted. Safe zone. Oh, there you go. Oh, boy. Yep. So <laughs> now we've finally hit the point where the game is going to uh, try and uh, just let you do stuff. Uh, 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 we are the tutor tutorial. Yeah, so expect uh, them to get hints. Uh, uh, uh. I swear, we just got to come up with a new scre ref screaming reference uh, every time you leave. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh no. Why? Oh no! Oh you made a bad boy! Call. Bad call. Wow, that just drains your freaking. Yep. Oh, now it's open. Ah. Uh... So I guess time to mention it. They do say save a lot of your progress in the floors. If you get hit, so you don't have to repeat everything. Oh boy. Ah, ah, ah. Also, I didn't see I anything. Do, also, I do totally recognize that this is probably the best time for me to be co-commentating, but I, I got some caffeine in me to keep my energy up, and I desperately feel that, feel that coming through. So, be back. Nice. Very nice. I'm just gonna keep doing this all I can. Ah, uh, where's the fire? Is this fire useful? No, it's not. Crap, 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 crap. Who says the year is 2413? There are no more video games as we know them. In fact, humanity has perished. Before their last breath, an unknown hero sends out a single YouTube series to replace Rick's Place Deep Labyrinth. Uh, oh. A single YouTube series to space. Rick plays Deep Labyrinth. In Hood said, "Youch." Where did they? Where did the um the fire appear? Where did the fire go? Where did the fire go? Lighting the torches should open the way. Where am I supposed to light two of them? I find it interesting how they're... Oh my goodness. There we go. So it was a limited time. It says it's time based? Yeah, it it kind of sucks. It's it's fine. I'm fine. Keep moving. This is stressing me out. This is stressing me out. This is stressing me out. Bigfoot says, after carrying a fork gallons of bad water, my fingers are wooden stick stiff and my arms are noodles. But I'm noodle. Open. Crap. Break a red pot to spill its magical contents on the floor. 
stand in the puddle to conceal yourself. Oh, yeah. Whatever, we're moving. Out, out the... Oh, yeah, this is all the way over there, right? All the way on the other side. We flew as noodly like a noodle derg or a weasel. But I am more noodly than a dragon. Rujiro says Rujiro is noodle. Yep. 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 Okay, I need to let the phantom turn around the bright eyes. Keep moving a little bit faster, please. I wish I could speed them up. Here I am. There you are. Oh. Ah. Uh. Key. Strobik says, all this talk of noodles is making me hungry for ramen. I haven't had real ramen ever in my life. Me neither. I want the real one. Real stuff. Yeah, not just cupped. Regina says, off color the rice vermicelli. Wow. Big Fufi says, I raiku ramen. I feel racist by saying that. Um. Phantom, okay, Phantom that doesn't move, Phantom that just turns. I, me no like, me no like, me no like, me no like, me no like. What is he guarding? What's going on? Could use your boomerang to scope things out. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's a switch. How do I lure you out? Uh-oh. What was the point of that? Oh. Or the game can just flat out show you. What does the switch... What's the switch doing? Wait, what does the switch do? Uh... Oh shit, it, it gets his attention if it's... Okay. What the fuck? Sure, whatever. Ah! Nope, 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 nope. That's not a safe zone. Oh, that is a... Uh, I have to... If you can't find a safe zone that will protect you from evil, store bot is there fine. There is safety. Jeez, why yep. did I do that? Well, now you have your own. Po you now put down a spare safe zone for yourself. Yes. Big Flu says, "Okay, I watched too many Sora the Troll. Okay, I can't stop thinking about the accent." Hood says, "Don't they serve them at Kinsui, Katsura, and uh, the Japanese restaurant at the Avenida de la Raza?" I don't know. I don't go to restaurants. I am a peasant, and I stay at home. I've always stayed at home too. We have ramen at home. Ramen at home. So... Where's the other one? Oh my gosh. No. Was that it? That was a switch. 
That was a legit switch. Oh my gosh, I hate it. Oh my goodness. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, that was a waste of time. A literal waste of time. It says, lol, next time I'm over, I'm Uber eating you a ramen roll from King Street. Oh boy, okay. If you're paying for it, then I can try new things. Who says, uh, <laughs> not sure if I need to delete that message. Well, I already read it, although I have no idea why you would you want to delete it. I'm thinking... Uh, I, the, the map is so small, I'm trying to figure out what's trying to say. Okay, so yeah, that switch does something. Temporarily. Secretarily. So... Who says, oh? Mm. So what does that switch do? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh. There's two switches. I just noticed. Yeah. There's two switches. Hurry. Pick them both up and keep them out of the scalper's hands. Scalpers. <laughs> How did I not notice that? No idea. But then where do I go from here? Because the key is over there. And I'm over here. Just been uh, panicking a bit. The switch that I pulled, it, 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 was that a temporary thing or did. Do I need to pull it again? Crap. Mm -hmm. Damn it, Foxes. Stop shouting. Um, who says, thought it was bad for you? My mistake then. Proceed, no problem then. Ooh. Bigfoot says, Probably hmm. You're Probably not, you're not, if you're trying to, if you're say, if you're wondering if, if that's doxing me, no. It's just a restaurant in my city. Everybody knows where I live. Um, Bigfoot says, hmm. Chip says, tell me why does your sick, uh, tell me why does your secretary hide up? A bob in this upstairs apartment ready for love when you know that you are lost in the heat of the action. Leave it in the hands of love. Who says, oh, I didn't mean that. I meant the... Uh... Wow, okay, forget it. I might need to be glancing around a bit because I think the foxes are trying to kill our chickens again. You have actual chickens? Yes. Oh, no. Foxes are evil. And slutty, but mostly evil. <laughs> I kind of not those foxes. I happen to know a few fox friends too. Ah, well, they are. Are they not? Let's let's get back to the game. Ah, well, if I can. Hum. Okay, wow, you Rick, want... you're stuck in the first puzzle. Do you want help? No, I see it. Okay. I can't believe I didn't even try that. I'm silly. I'm silly it always... beans. It always takes a little bit after you get a new item to get used to it. Don't worry. Like, wow. That sure is a boomerang right there. You should probably use it. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh boy, there comes the phantom! Oh boy! 
I guess. He said chunky lad. So when your so when your hourglass starts going down, I guess you could say you have phantom pain. No. All. I should have watched the path to phantom walk more carefully. Ooh. Yeah, you should have. You know, you said that, and it came through Discord before it showed up on the stream, so I was like, oh no, did you get hit again? We're patrolling the same areas again and again. Ooh, patterns. Okay, I don't like this. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't help me actually. I'm just wasting time here. Ooh, wasting time. I won't ever give in, no matter how hard you pull me in. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving to the left. Left. There we go. That's a good phantom hourglass. Hourglass. Why can't I pronounce words? Um. Bump. Hey, I cracked. Oh boy. Okay. Oh my gosh. So now you just gotta get around the phantom again. Oh boy. Take your time. It's not like I'm in a hurry here. Hood says, now you're thinking with boomerangs. And Hood says, he is being sneaky around here like a snake. A solid one for that matter. Fuck off. Hood says, video game writers inserting references to their games, to other games. Chip says, I got a little crack that will really make me high. Stop it with the lyrics, I will kill you. I mean, my last music reference was to The World Ends With You. Okay, that's a reference that I can get. Oh no, it keeps it going. My, 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 my. Okay. Two phantoms moving around in squares. Or one of them else. has a key, though. Why do you have a key? What's what? What do you want from me? Yeah, I know. I know. I wasn't talking to you. Oh, hello. Offer up the forest gems to the, of the sa on the sacred pedestals. But should I? I mean, if you like to stay in the Temple of the Ocean King forever, then by all means. How do I open these blocks? Oh no. Who knew that the contents of yellow pots restore time in hourglass? Oh, really? If I only had the hourglass, maybe things would happen different. Ooh. Oh, hello. You, s you see, people getting down here and dying, I can get. I can understand that one. You find a force gem. Take it away quietly. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Oh no, it's a carrying thing. You got a triangle. Yep. I wonder what you're supposed to do with it. That's a forest gem stolen from the Ocean King by the hands of evil. You'll need the power of forest gems to open a door and delve deeper. So what are you supposed to do with this forest gem? Fuck. I can see it over there. These are the pedestals where the forest gems go. Place all forest gems here and the door will open. So all you have to do is take the forest gems there. Be 
careful, you move a lot slower when you're carrying a big force gem. If a phantom sees you, and you don't think you can get away, don't be here or drop the force gem and run to a safe zone. Simple, right Link? Look out for the phantoms and look those force gems around. Oh no. Oh no. So do you want to know a funny trick? One weird trick? Yep. You can throw the force gems. And you can throw... Th Just... <laughs> chuck them. Run. Pick them up. Chuck them. Run. Pick them up. <laughs> Granted, it's a very... Just... Annoying way to proceed. It's a very sideways way of thinking. <laughs> oh, I remember this. They just flatten on the ground. Smeared like butter. We gotta butter them buns. Then maybe the door will let us in. Hmm. Butter my buns. Just two left to find. I hate this. I'm wasting so much time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Alright. So, for the sake of not having you just repeat stuff if you die, I'm just gonna mm -hmm. probably let leave you to it until you get low on time. Anti-frustration anti measures. Triangles! No, it's fine, I got one. Triangle! One more to go. Phantoms sometimes carry keys, but what could I have done? Take one. Maybe just hit it. With a boomerang. The next way it passes here. Maybe. Oh boy, you guys sure take your time. I mean, I could lure you, but no. That's too gay. No, that's not it. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. How do I go over the fire? There's there's fire down there. We so think, we so think, we so think, think, we so think, we so think, we so think. <gasps> I see. No, that's not it. Never mind. I was like, no, no, no. 420, blaze it. Oh, perfect. We f we stopped on the ver on the right time. I have 10 minutes left stream if I want to make it a 420 stream <laughs> I 
That's how you open it. Uh... Wait. Damn it. Oh, fuck. Yes. Ah, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I need a safe zone here. Why Congratulations. I... You have permanently deleted one of the phantoms. On... Well, I say permanent. It's not showing up for the rest of this run, but one of the phantoms is gone now. Delete it. Just pull him into a, a, a recycle bin. Citations, Coral. Coral. Maro. Says, I'm back in the clack. What? Stupid. Oh, wait, 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 I'm too far away. What is that? I am worried that this place has references to um oh no. You, items that I don't have yet. Are you talking about the eye? Yes. You can't do anything with the eye yet. Exactly. I'm like I don't like this. It means the game wants me to come back later and I don't want to. <laughs> that's the that's the name of the game with this temple. Christ in Spanish. Chip says feed us the leaders. Oh gosh. Well, at least I can carry this thing quietly. Yeah, you're pretty much home free. I'm done. I'm done. Yay. For, for this run. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yay! What? No, it's not done yet. Oh wait, what? No, you're done. The nope, you're done. Is... There's no curse. Oh wait, there's no fog in this room. Look, there's no curse. The hourglass has stopped, and your life force has been drained. This place isn't cursed yet. I think we can finally relax. Well, you know what will make it cursed? Some cursed Dreamies? images. Northwestern sea chart. Okay, I needed that. You have obtained plot item. Now we can explore a new area of the sea. We got another sea chart, but it looks different from the last one. Maybe now we can explore new areas of the sea? Let's show line back. I hate him. Okay, I see. What is this? D3. Nope. So there's more later. Yes. Nope. Bye. Lion back. Holy fuck. On the bright side. As they said, you got all the 10 minutes back now that you've left the temple. If you want to go back in, you have the 10 minutes again. Yeah, although, we don't need it now. But we'll come back here later. Yep. Give me hearts. Damn it. No hearts for the weasel. With my luck, I'll probably strike a cuckoo by accident. Wow, this grass is very stingy. I'll figure it out next time. What? What do you want? Does that ship of yours have a cannon? No. It makes life sea life easier. At least louder. Hmm. That's about all I know. I heard you can get them from a guy named Edo on an island to the south. Uh, that's a that's a reference. Don't forget to save. Hey, you actually made it back. Find the sea chart. Lionbeck, you're so you're lucky to have us around doing all the hard work. Yes, we found the new sea chart. Hey, let me see that. 
It's a chart we need to sail into the sea that's up north. But we still don't know the location of the ghost ship. Well, blow me down to the ground. This chart's so dusty I can read it. Get it? Make yourself useful and clean it up, will you, Link? <laughs> no. <laughs> Mikey Dean intensifies. Oh, hey, another Chris has appeared. A chew. Hey, look, I mean, I knew it all along. I knew it was hidden there. I always had a sixth sense for such things. We aren't falling for it, Line, but you didn't know that was there. Don't pretend to know what I don't know. Anyway, I bet a spirit's right there. So let's go to that island. Okay, then, once we set sail, I can explain how we can go to the Northwestern Sea. Let's be off. No, let's wait. Because I am done for now. It's good progress for one night. Although, ironically, you f you finally quit now that there's st optional stuff we can take care of. We can do that next time. It's almost midnight. How is it almost midnight? Had fun. It... Yeah. You know what? That doesn't help. That doesn't happen on streams often anymore. Oh, boy. Give me a oh. sec. Oh, no. Something bad happened. Bad. Bad happened. Bad. Are you okay? <laughs> it's fine. I accidentally activated my VR headset in the middle of the stream and it's breaking things. Uh-oh. Wait. I'm fine. It's fine. Um, Cormor said art sucks. Chip says fetus excretus saves time. Ugh. Hood says three hearts for a weasel. Hood said blow hard. <laughs> and Hood said that was fun. And Cormor says thanks for the streamies. Yeah, no problem. It's, again, I really... That's weird to say. When I say I really have fun when streaming, but yeah. Chip says this was a fun one. It really, really was. Finally, something to look forward to on Fridays. Mm -hmm. Whenever we can do them. Yeah, I'll keep Fridays reserved then. Alrighty, you can count on me anytime. But hey, you have also more things to look forward to, because as long as we have Phantom Hourglass, then we can also jump over to Spirit Tracks after that. Oh yes, I'll probably give it a break, but yes. Oh boy. Where's my weasel? Weasel. Holy crap, why are there so many things open on my desktop? I have too many icons on my taskbar. And... Weasel there, okay. Who says spirit tracks will be amazing when it happens. Oh no, yeah, I'm like... I wasn't, here's my confession, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like the way um, DS games are played on the Wii U. This one works really well. I, like, I, I it was very comfortable. I f okay, probably holding a 3DS for four hours would have hurt a bit more than just holding, like, the big gamepad. This is very much designed with a pick up and put down nature. The dungeons are a lot shorter than most other Zelda games. The tasks are done a lot faster. And generally you jump between the plot points a lot with more, even more briskly. I do remember being a lot more sore after um, streams where I used my 3DS though, like Holding that thing was not very comfortable for too long. And like in a very sti stiff um, like sitting pose. But it was easier with the gamepad. Yeah. Especially since you only need the Wii U to we use console to hook up. The gamepad can be wherever it wants. Oh no, yeah, yeah. Although this gamepad doesn't have much battery. Like, it doesn't 
cold battery. Oh no, does it hit that point? And this is the second gamepad that I'm using. This is actually not my Zane. I'm I'm uh, I'm borrowing it. Just I'm just borrowing it. Um, but yeah, it's finding a gamepad with a good battery. Oof. It 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 it's. I had it. The good thing is I had plugged in the entire time. So. Uh, that'll definitely take care of it, of any concern. But yep. Yeah. That's a uh, oh, we are at the four twenty point. Yay! Perfect. All right, four twenty hour minutes. Who says maybe if the analog is successful, they'll make a three DS version for DS and three DS games. Yeah, we haven't seen like we haven't seen consoles like just aftermarket consoles for the N sixty four yet i'm 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 i don't think they'll do ds and 3ds that easily i really don't think so but it's good to hope for something cuz the 3ds is ds and 3ds my favorite to my favorite consoles and i wasn't done showing you games from those and i really wanted to do more but for now, I'm just putting it off until I can find a viable replacement. For now, game for games like these, the the Wii U will do. I'm just sad that I'm guess my my physical copy of the game is gonna just sit on un, unused. Maybe I can pass it on to somebody who wants to play it. Or I can save it and see if it climbs up in value in the future. Um, let's see. Am I done here? Yeah, I am done. Um, Chip says, "Ooh, according to legend, the weasel is immune to cockatrice venom." Really? Um, Hood says, "420 weasel it," and Korobar says, "Blazing it." Well, it's not the first time I do this, but yeah. So yeah, I'm done. I'm gonna take a break. Um, I have I keep promising you um a special stream on weekend, huh? Uh, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I skipped that day this week, so maybe can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Cause I'm still preparing. I'm trying. I'm still trying to pull that off. It's not a normal kind of stream so it's a little bit more difficult to pull off but i'll try just promise me you'll come because <laughs> if i start doing that and i see i see nobody i'll be like i set all this up for nothing but we'll see so yeah that's it for now thank you very much for coming have a good night, have a good evening, afternoon, day, morning, or whatever you have on the of the planet, and I'll see you again very soon. Fare thee well, one and all. Alright, dread rig that weasel that you know, and Titus. The Yay. wolf that is finally here again after, fuck, seven, eight months? Everybody <laughs> needs, everybody needs rigs. Uh, Chip says bye, and Hoot says good night. All right then, Hoot says take care. All right, see you then. Bye. Farewell.